All right, cool. We're live. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Skull Island. All right. And all three of us are here, all four of us are here to, this week, right? So share this out, share this out, share this out. We are live. I didn't bring, I have the intro music. Um, I got craziness going on still with my uh, uh, my Wi Fi because we had a storm that knocked everything down now. So I'm running on my phone again. <laughs> right. So yeah, I just got the notice we're live, right? Uh, on uh, You just put us up there. Ryan Rising is now live on Skull Island, yeah, right? Are. Rock out, brother. Right. So start a watch you party there, and then no one will get redirected. They'll stay there. And then, yeah. Miguel, you can do that if you want to share it to any page you want to share it to. Same thing. Start a watch party on that page after you share it, and then it'll stay on that page, and they won't get redirected. Right? So, Rock, okay, so there's three people. Some people are here, so give us a shout-out in the in the chat so we know that you're here. Nobody's on, uh, on YouTube, unfortunately, because YouTube put me in fucking jail for something I did a year ago. God love yeah. that. You too. Love you. So, <laughs> right good here. You know what this is? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Right? <laughs> yeah, All right. Bring it down its own. Bring it down its own. Let's I know, go. right? Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Back it up. Back it up, buddy. Re re Just remember we yeah. there, right? So, okay. So, we're all here, actually, for the first time. Angela, welcome. Share this out. Share this out. We're all here for the first time uh, together. Last week was – the week before was kind of the unofficial – uh, send off of of of, of uh, our our pirate cast at Skull yeah. Island, and then I was gone uh, last week and first week. Aaron couldn't be here, but maybe an hour and he had to go. So we we really haven't all been here for any length of time until now, right? Because Miguel was here last time with you, but I wasn't, right? I've been here all the time. I haven't missed You're one. Covered. I mean, I am the See? fucking Skull Captain. There's the anchor. There's the anchor. <laughs> <laughs> the so welcome everybody. Right? Yeah, that's cool. I'm digging that. It's a good. I like that. It's a good pirate, little piratey yeah, ship there, yeah, right? I gotta do yeah, something. I gotta get a little thing. Things. I may put my green screen back up and start using my green screen and put the pirate cast logo behind me. That'd be cool. yeah, that'd be cool. That would be awesome. Right? I'm gonna have to I'm check that out. Yeah, we're trying right. to get a motif going on. I love how that's like right in my corner, though. At least from my perspective. Yeah, I know. I think that's right. It's like it's right for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I dig on that. So everybody, um, share this out. And Denise, hi, Allison, hi. Share this out, share this out. If you don't say anything in the chat, we don't know you're there. We can just look right. at the number which is right above my head. <laughs> I'm adding the sounds of rain because you can't be on a boat without rain because it's always fucking raining in the ocean. So God, I know. Dig that right. Uh, besides the um, the logo, there has rain falling on it as well. So hey, it's all part of the the scenario. Um, I don't like green screens and all that kind of shit. It, it kind of gets with me because I like to be who I am, you know, just voila. I'm kind of like that, but sometimes it's fun. I like to throw yeah, it you know what I, I mean? Most of the time, I, 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 I would love to have like the pirate thing going on back here. You know, it was one of my uh, favorite scenes of all the, the, like, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. They had that scene uh, where the Captain Barbosa, when they were actually filming at Disneyland, <laughs> and they were supposed to be uh, at that uh, at the uh, island of uh, Il de Muerta, Island of the Dead, and he says, "Gents, take a walk," and they play that music, right? That pirate music, but not the one that's the swashbuckling one. This is the real serious one. And the guys are walking, and the scene. I swear, I've had this idea, and I'm going to put it together, right? Where you have instead of having a painting on your wall, you have a video that plays with yeah. music, and then when you walk up to it. It like turns on. You have that that uh, you know that right. uh, yeah. a motion sensor, and I want to put that there with the music because it starts off and the whole scene starts with the bottom of the ocean. You can't see anything besides fish, and then yeah. all of a sudden the fish go and they take off, and the pirates come walking through the water, and it's at night, and they're showing the the full moon, well, and the, they got that pirate the music playing. Is doing that. Yeah, that's from that's what I'm saying. That's from seconds. the movie. Yeah, I want to take that scene and then have it play over and over because they That'd do that cool. until they go climbing up onto the ship and right. then it switches and the and the song ends and now they jump on the ship. But the whole time before that, it's got that music playing and they're walking mm -hmm. across the bottom and they walk through the, the rays of the moon. You see them as people, yeah. then skeletons, yeah. and then people again. That fucking badass, bro. <laughs> well, and pirate doesn't always mean in the in the water, right? I mean, we're kind of insinuating that by the, no, you know, no, it doesn't actually. You know, right? Like, I'd like to create, create there. Right, I'd like to create. No, but see if they're on land, land it's in the water. Piracy well, is at sea. That's part of the well, definition yeah. of being a pirate. Piracy is at sea because if you're on it, land, you're a marauder, or you're a marauder. He's right. Uh, or you know, well, why uh, do they call it? Why do they call it piracy when you when you use somebody else's video or you record it? Um, well, because they're in the maritime law. 
And it's because it's on the internet. The internet's yeah, like a whole, whole show, show we can talk about. But no, yeah. I just want to say that they're listening. Maritime Laws are listening. Laws listening. Laws listening. Laws listening. Laws I would like to be under Law of War. So you need to study Law of War to understand where we're at now. Right. Yeah. The past is a whole right. other thing, but now it's so a whole new bug. Allison, too, she says Blackbeard was beheaded at the end of my street back in the day where she's living oh, right now. Wow. wow. That's pretty badass. Where are you at? Are you in New Orleans? Right, are you, or are you like in Warsaw? <laughs> Allison. I, I didn't know where, where that is. Virginia. Virginia. Wow. Close to DC. Hampton, yeah. Wow. Hampton, Virginia. Huh? Right? I don't doubt any of that. I bet you're right. I bet they have a little historical site there and everything that tells you the date. And when it I forgot. I have, to, I have to remember. Miguel was the one. You were the one that, rem that rem reminded me of this when we were on there when I was running on my phone. That when my cash gets to uh, uh, my RAM starts getting eaten by my phone, I got to clear my RAM or my signal starts tripping. Last time Miguel was like, "Check your RAM, bro," and I looked up and I was like, "Oh, I got all these windows open because you get notifications." That starts burning yeah. up my RAM and messing with my signal. So just then I had to clear yeah. it and I'll wait and I'll keep an eye on it as we go and clear it out and clear it out. Right. But I just wanted to take a minute just for a minute, just to uh, or tell people out there listening or going to listen. I do want to create a pirate radio out of this too. So all independent music, if you know, send it in, send it to uh skull Island PC at gmail.com. Send all your files there and if, or whatever you want to be heard. And I do want to amass a library so we can start playing independent uh right. you know music here and independent yeah, art, it depends yeah. on what, how we feel but i that's kind of what we were talking about earlier is pirate to me means a lot more than being on the seven seas it means like we were talking about creating a parallel society we're gonna have to create a parallel society solutions yep. to, you know the problems we're, we're faced with right now is we do. We are at the, already at that point, and there are already very smart people, I'm sure, working on creating yep. that new society, including, you know. And there is, this. and I got a link yesterday that I need to give to you guys because uh, I'm looking for that right now. Uh, here we go. And and I do agree 100% with what Aaron's saying, that it's not just, you know, of old swashbuckling at sea. And these days, I mean, if you think about it, Steve Jobs did that with Apple. They still run the Jolly Roger up every day. They considered themselves pirates yeah, in the whole seven industry. Seven internet. <laughs> the, seven, the internet sees. Right. Really, the right. ether. We're, yep. This is a, a universe within itself, and yes. we are somewhat traveling utilizing this to, to try to enlighten those, people and show know? people there's another way. You can we be happier. Seeing, you can yeah. find happiness yep. easily. Yeah. If, if you're willing to, well, you know, you're not willing to be. That plays into what I was talking about or what we were all talking about off air, um, where, you know, going back again to another analogy from a movie, but, you know, um, Kenobi said to, to uh, Skywalker at one point, you have to remember, you have to realize, Luke, that the truths that we cling to are greatly, you know, dependent on our, our point of view. Right. And that, the problem with that is that we don't realize that sometimes people don't realize that you have a point of view that comes from an assumption that they put into your mind of slavery. Right. And, and this is what Miguel was alluding to when he was talking about maritime law, because that's exactly what it is. I, my brother, that's how we got on the conversation, because he said something about, well, when you're born, you know, they, they issue you a, uh, a birth certificate. And I said, yeah. that's your right. slave papers. It really, yeah. I mean, in a sense. And I said, you're born, uh, you know, uh, you, when you're born, what, what is the procedure? It's maritime law. You're birthed through the yep. birth canal, just right. like a ship is is birthed through birth a birth canal, into the canal, into the channel. And that's this where is, it's birthed. This or is so born. bizarre because it's like I, I was going through this stuff about, uh, what, two years ago to where they were going? The exact same analogy that you're talking about, word for word and everything else. Uh, uh, yeah been there done that and it's a bitch whenever you realize that holy fuck these bastards actually do think we're slaves and serfs and yeah. we must die yeah. down and well, I mean, I mean just think yeah. about it all these people how did we keep track of everyone and why do we do that like i mean like when you just go back to things uh, they can tell you good things yes i like to be able to look back in my ancestry you're right i like to be able to see right. my roots for whatever blah 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 right however i mean right. 
it's still like, public now and they have all your let's, information. Let's, let's, you know what I mean? Like when yeah, you really yeah. get down to the nitty gritty and you see any, you know what I mean? Like you are no longer a private. You citizen. cannot see that right. they are tracking everyone and have been for years and years. Yeah. They just want to deepen it and make it more and get, you know what I mean? Like, right. and you have you know, all the organizations. Look at the it's, it's crazy. The entire Mormon religion is designed to keep track of mm -hmm. the whole world. Okay, you got your stick. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked me out a few years ago, but you know, I never right. joined talking stick. I, right. around I, never, that. Catholic. I never joined the Mormons either, but I did join the Catholics, so I'm recovering. <laughs> no, I was I'm eight, eight, it was the, the Catholics on my so mom's like, side and on my dad's side, it was Mormons. Exactly but you know what? My dad and my grandfather and grandmother had already left or been excommunicated because one of them was, you know, there was infidelity issues. <laughs> That's as far right. as I go there. I have respect for right, my grandma, right. my grandpa. But um, really, they never really pushed me to do that, but they did kind of teach me that. Now, my grandmother, she didn't agree with it at all. And she was, I mean, her parents were, uh, one was, a, uh, a they were both temple workers and one was a patriarch. So he was like the psychic. Right. You know, he was the guy that went in and he did like your patriarchal blessing. Blessings and and he'd, he'd right. give you like, right. kind of lay it out, which they're, I've seen some. They're very good. Yes. But it's the terminology. We've always talked about this. There's, there's like three, at least three or four different ways you can say it, whatever you're talking yeah. about at one right. time. So right. I think it's all about who is trying to control and who is mm -hmm. trying to teach and enlighten. Right. And they will teach you, but they're more trying to control you with, right. with what they're giving you. Especially they're giving especially you a little bit and yeah. saying, well, this person is anointed yep. to do this. When they and, separate. And you are not. Mm -hmm. So you right. don't get to do or you're not you're not that pure. You're not yeah, you're the woman. You're so you not the chosen one. You're the woman. Right. Like, traditionally, traditionally, yeah, traditionally you know. the feminine in the Western culture, because of Judaism being a monotheistic male dominated religion, yeah. the woman has been diminished to think yeah. about it too. Yeah. The yeah. wife of Jesus was a whore, <laughs> right? And the mother of Jesus was just some was chick unwed that, with no was, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which yeah. back in those days it's, was it's not that she was she came from a town known for that right so there's, and there's they, they just made that up. i know yeah i know that she was right. now she was possessed by seven demons as well so i mean that that bitch had some serious shit going on um right but magdalene you know she ended up being one of the most faithful apostles and, and tried to build i read two of her apocryphal works that were in the dead sea Scrolls. i have as well yeah, yeah. So it's we talked about that you and I. You and I talked yeah. just about that about reading yeah. the her works and the, the different books. We did we talked about that last week or the week yeah, before. The book of Thomas. I don't know why Thomas it, wasn't. The way it's presented in the, yeah. in the everyday or on, on the regular, right? Again, why are these it's, secrets? It's the I mean, that, yeah, yeah. The why are right? why are so much why is so much being held secret mm -hmm. in these in these institutions? From the Nancy, uh, that are, and we're having the same story. problem with them, probably always have had with them as we do with government. It's the same thing to me. It's, that's what Miguel it says he, he, he's got an answer. Go ahead, right, Miguel. Go ahead. Talking stick. I got to pull this thing out a little bit more. All right. Um, <laughs> it was your idea. Fuck. <laughs> the the I'm idea. The closet. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> uh, the, it, it's the seminal idea of creation itself. All right. God created this universe and gave, gave us free will. Okay. Why? That is where the quantum multiverse comes in because it's all those different probabilities and possibilities yep. and just being able Every to fuck up the way that you fuck up. Yeah. Because each yeah. individual is a fuck up. Anytime that you are not perfect, you're fucking up. And everybody fucks up 10,000 times a day. So oh, excuse absolutely. me, we're all fuck ups. It's in our Period. nature. Yeah. Get over it and let's go forward. And yeah. that's where free will comes in to where we can learn and grow and get better and, and yep. try and put things behind That's what it's about. Exactly. However, the adversary wants exactly the opposite of that. So what is the opposite of free will? Absolute control. There was right. an interview in 1994 with one of those uh, producers that used to work for uh, for Hollywood, um, uh, big moguls and all that kind of shit. And he talked about, you know, talking to those big families with the names that can't be mentioned. Otherwise, people will have serious problems. Um, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and he said, you guys are, are rich as hell. You guys have more money than you can spend in 10 generations. Yeah. What more do you want? He said, it's not about money. It's about control. About power control. They yeah. want to yeah. be able to look at you and say, "No, you're not going to eat tomorrow," and they shut yep. off your bank account. Yeah, you said something I didn't like. You don't get to eat. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. It's right. That absolute control. Well, you know, here's, the here's another. Here's another movie. Adversary does. 
Here's it's another movie movies. analogy to back up what Miguel is, is saying, guys. If you look at, let's go back to um, to Conan the Barbarian, 1982. When he got captured by the guy who killed his family over the steel that they had, he was chasing revenge yes. for his mom and dad's murder. When he got caught, it was uh, it was what's his name, James Earl Jones, was the bad guy, the snake, the snake, the serpent god, oh, right? Lord. And but he said to him, he said, "You know the little steel, don't you, boy?" And he says, "You want to know what true power is?" And he looks up, and they're and they're being surrounded on all sides by by zealots, people that are that are their uh, followers. And he looks up and he points to one girl and he goes, "You, yeah, come here." And she jumps off the ledge to her death. And he says, "That is true power, boy. That is true uh, leadership." He says yeah. they, that person was willing to die for me because I said so. Right. He says, yeah, I'm not that, concerned. That shows you the level of leader that he is, that he's willing to sacrifice one of his people just to show off his own power, which means just, that he's not a leader. Right. He's just a right. fucking pushing bully that is yep. coming to everyone. Ego, right? Same and thing. We can ego. relate that yeah. to what we're doing right now. This is about, you know, I'm willing to put men and women in harm's way so I can make a lot more money for me and my partners. Right. Well, yeah. Right. Like Why not thinking of the cause and effect of it, not, not thinking of the balance of things, just going for it. Just really they just want depopulation. The, the time is short and they they've got a timetable that they need to keep to, and they're running yeah. out of time. So they're pushing everybody. And because yep. they're pushing everybody, they're showing their hand, and everybody's going, Wait, motherfucker, you turned up the heat too much. The frogs are fucking jumping out. So fuck you. The problem right. is that they're still control of the oven, the stove, and the boiling pot of water, and they have access to things that you require. So even yeah. then, the frogs, what are the frogs going to do? Okay, the thing right. is, well, they've got to build their own house. they got to right. build their own house away yep. from all that fucking negative, destructive, vampiric, demonic shit. Whatever evil spirits you want to call it, it's just, right. it's about control, sucking man. the like, essence out of it. Selfism, bro. So well, the totally good thing is that, and not anybody else, and just I want what I want, and I don't give a fuck who hurt, gets hurt because right. of it. Exactly. Well, this is the good thing is that they're starting to they're starting to get in trouble on their own and, and eat each other, right? You have who, think yeah. about it. Who has been the the biggest uh, people that are calling for all of this stuff? It's the it's the media, and I know I'm going to trigger people now, but it's the media outside of Fox, right. and they're and then the, then they're trying to tell everybody that Fox it's, is the problem. It's Fox too. And so what the, I was going to get to that. And what you don't realize is that they're both doing the same thing from a different perspective. Yes. None of yeah. them are your friends. Okay. Right. Cause right. they're all the same people in the background. But the beautiful thing is that now they're the ones that are getting in trouble. First you had the governor Cuomo. He's out because of his bullshit stuff he was doing. Then his brother who said, Hey, well, I was just reporting. That's it. Turns out he man. Leading what with happens is the one went down do. and he dragged the other with him. Because that's, that's right. I mean, you know, did you see what just happened the other day? They caught the producer, who's a pedophile, yeah. and he got fired yesterday. Fired? Yep. I mean, that, yeah. He's a pedophile who should be fucking in jail. I mean, what's going to be his next? Well, they, they, he was fired well, because he's going to be up on yeah, federal yeah. charges, and he's right. going to go to jail. <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. Well, that right, means but, that we're in in the last chapters of devolution. It's it means it's a good thing. I mean, the whole right. objective of this whole thing was to get rid of these fucking vampiric powers. Right. They're just sucking right. the essence out of humanity itself. We have yeah. a good thing going if those motherfuckers don't get in the middle of it. Why? Yeah. Because right. people are productive. They're they're creative. They yes. like to do things. They like to strive towards goals and bring others with them so that they can build towards that. That's what humanity is yes. about. That's what the competition of right. capitalism is. It's not the monopolies and oligopolies and, oh, I'm going to buy everybody else out and now fuck you because right. you want to mm -hmm. get your shit. So have the most, right. Yeah, like Amazon. I mean, and Walmart and all that kind of shit. I mean, yeah, fuck them. We got to start our own shit, little yep. by little. Yeah, yeah it's gonna hurt because and we're being not so gonna dependent on them. Yes. yes, we're not gonna have yes. the Teslas. Yeah, I know. You know, heard the, I heard the most beautiful podcast from you because I played your uh, uh, Miguel. I yeah. I was playing your your live last night. I was watching your live, and uh, thank I you. I was listening to it, and then I when you when it was done, I kind of just went to the next page. I was working on something, probably your logo. I don't know. I was creating something bigger than a logo, but then Norma told me he just wants a logo. I'm like, okay, and I'll I'll back up. Anyway, <laughs> I I heard this like beautiful oh. podcast, like you're like total beauty in your soul, mm -hmm. walking around your property, talking about your fruit trees, talking about the plants, right. talking about the hoard, like just really 
getting into it, dude. I was like, well, that, was, so that was a video. That was my video on my garden. Dude, I was like frozen to it. Dude. That just, I didn't even see it. I was just listening, dude. So you were yeah. very descriptive. I just wanted to let you know, props to that. That was an awesome video. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, that was one of the first videos that I just sort of broke out of the mold that I had created for what I believe people needed to see, which was just 15, 20 minutes max, get the information out there and next topic is it's because I was basically doing my video, my book in video format. And so I was, I was thinking it through in that um, whenever I started doing the lives and and it was just free for all. And and it wasn't yeah, my I didn't like these intermittent, like they cut me off for a, I, I let it go. And so um, it's been free. And so the the video on my garden was the first one on my channel that I did in that sort of freelance fuck it let's see where this goes type shit right. but it still had structure because i knew exactly what i was gonna and i had already you know this one and then the other one um yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. thank you very much oh, it was beautiful. yeah it was awesome it really was. i really yeah. did love it i mean we're both kinda, i'm like, like listen to this motherfucker logo, right here he's like kind of yeah and just i was dude i'm oh. serious like i was like in a meditative well, speaking state, of which i was, I was uh, working out there today so i wanted it was to like you were that. guiding it dude it was awesome i could like actually visualize what you were talking about and you were really passionate man i loved it <laughs> and i could sense it very well like it just it was it was beautiful for me i don't see a whole lot but i, I do like encompass what i'm hearing um leo can you pull that one up uh, i'm sharing a, an image of my tools today you, you share it here yeah i'll put it up i did oh you share it in comments, or do you share it in our no, private I, chat? No, it should be here because I've got two. No, I don't share your screen. Share your screen. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought I was doing. Oh, <laughs> I don't see anything. Nope. No, now I just kicked it out. All right, hold on. Let me try that again. Yeah, Cheryl Cameron, the evil ugly will be revealed, and it's being revealed. It I mean, is. It is. There, we're well, not too far away from the apex of all you. this bullshit. Allison, Allison, welcome. Did I say that before? Yeah, Allison. Welcome, Allison. Hello, Welcome, Allison. Cheryl. Denise. Welcome, Denise. Yeah. Thank you all for being yes, here. Please everyone. share this out. Yeah. Let's get this pilot. Yeah, I'm in YouTube down jail, down guys. So I'm not going to share the Facebook. It should so. be in, in the green room. room. I think. It should be in the green room. Because I was I guess just not. jailed. So. Maybe not. All right. I tried to share the images that I had. You should be able to go to your YouTube channel, bro, and just wherever you post it, just share it. Right. Uh, share the screen here, and then I can put it up. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. No, I was just. Uh, nice. oh, that's I, blue. I knocked yeah, down nice. some. Thank you, Allison. Underbrush yesterday, uh, today actually this this afternoon, which is why I'm kind of tired now. Um, so I was just swiping it's away the five by what 60, 600 square feet of just uh, brush. So yeah, it was a fun day. Um, Got to clean things up in order to get things going because yep. uh, yep. yep. and stuff. So every day is a new day, and and you got to do what you got to do. So uh, yep. one, tomorrow, well, I you're in the right gonna... mindset, dude. You're in the right mindset to right. to already. You already you're already doing this. That's right. creating a different yeah. world. Like you're doing yeah. that from your yard, from your property. Right. Yeah. And that know, was beautiful. One of the things that I noticed about Miguel the entire time that's been consistent is his passion for nature. And he's yeah. always, when I talk to him, he's always like, look, man, I had to come all the way to Brazil for this beautiful yeah. freaking area that I'm in. And he says, and, and I said, you know, what if the world got, you know, going shitty? He's like, I'm living in the most beautiful place right. that I can imagine right now. Right. And he's always been like that right. since I've met him. I and I've never really said yeah. anything, but I've always admired that he's so connected yeah. to the earth and to, and to the, 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 his surroundings and the yeah. life. Uh, not city life, but the life of the world yeah. around him and, surround, and on purpose, make sure that he's not living like I am in the concrete jungle. Right. right. And that's, right. That's, that's totally badass. And I've never said that to you, Miguel, but thank you. That's totally badass, bro. No, because, yeah, I, uh, yeah. Like, like Aaron, I've just been kind of in awe. It's like you're a little, like, you know, how everybody has like their own, uh, uh, their own super ability. You know, his seemed to be that his passion for the earth and yeah. uh, it's yeah. just there yeah. in his nature. You know what yeah. I mean? It's that like, connects. That seems nature. to connect with yeah. me. Like, Psychically, you know what I yes. do, yeah. And that seems to connect with me, like as we talked about it last week, or like I swear we know each other, yeah. Like, right? We, well, it's we, like you and I, yeah. bro. We I went that way back in the day. I, I, but I, that's I, what it does, yeah. That nature, that like yeah, earthy yeah. type. That's yeah. what I was thinking about last night when I was trying to design something. I'm like, okay, earthy, okay, because that's what I was listening to you for. And I was just like, okay, I want to pick up on his vibe. 
see what I want to, you know, design. I was designing some cool and shit. But he was. Don't get me wrong. She just wants, but I'm she like, told the baby, me, he just honey, wants no, a logo. This is beautiful. So I know, anyway. but, but he wants to but, be able to do things with this. So anyway, gotta, that was where I kind of, yeah, something clicked. It was like one of those souls like yeah. memories, right? But it was, yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. You know, I think um, honestly, bro, I think that like uh, like the guys in the LL research group when they were doing the law of one, I think that that the three of us or the four of us, because because Norma being involved in this, um, I think our energy has always because as soon as I met you guys, Aaron, years ago, right? We just clicked, yeah. dude, yeah. Every, yeah. forever. Yeah. And then yeah. when I met Miguel, it was the same way. And that's why I knew that all of us would get along. And I didn't even ask you. I was like, no, you got to see this Miguel guy. And you're yeah. like, okay. And then he popped in. You're like, oh, what's up, bro? Yeah, I love this yeah. guy. I've seen him. He's been on my show. Or, you know what I mean? You've seen him on the right. other shows. And, and he's been commenting. And, and now all of a sudden, you start talking to him. And now we're all like the same way. We're all like, um, like as if we made a plan before we got here to meet yeah. at this particular time in our lives to yeah. do this. Plans were made. Um, most yeah. definitely. And that, that's part of what's also intrinsic in a couple of chapters of my book. But anyway, um, have you guys studied how, how waves interact? I mean, whenever you've got waves and counter waves, they nullify each other out. But whenever you've got waves that are in resonance, they actually build on each other. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If they're, if they're in harmony, if they're in their har in harmony. Yeah. And that's yeah. what happens. The more, so I know about waves. the more we resonate, the more we're able to create, build and yes. grow and accelerate. Yeah. Yeah. It's Which just is why I, I went back resonance. to what you had said about, the maritime law and the whole waves and sea thing. And in a sense, yes, we are in a big energy sea. You're right. We we are we in are more And I suppose that's probably how they got away with it, right? Uh, well, they just turned everything into maritime law and everybody agreed to it. That became right. the law of the land. Yeah. Right. Nobody paid attention. Yeah. Everybody just goes along to get along. Yes. And so they're yes. taken over the cliff because yeah. that's where they want right? to be. You know, Right there's Omar. Welcome, Omar. What's up, brother? Omar's in the house. Uh, Omar. Omar. Yeah, what's up, brother? So yeah, I mean, and, and I agree with that because the you know the, the nobody's paying attention and we don't realize, and that's what I was talking to my brother about, where our terminology is even maritime law, and we just don't we don't even realize unless you're paying attention to it. Yeah. Right. And if you don't go down that road, then you don't realize that that you know you're you have a, a birthing <laughs> just like yes. a ship. Right, you come from the birth canal, just like the. Well, that was a big rabbit hole to you go have down. A yeah. Right, you have a name. Then you start going into the dictionary or the maritime law. Uh, what do they call it? I can't remember what the book is, but it's got like all the definitions of like what a judge really means when he sits on the oh, bench. Yeah. What it really and, means, like and, it goes also, so deep. Uh, and you got to look at the flags, the meaning of yeah, what's around the, the gold flags, fringe, yeah. which has been mm -hmm. flying for I haven't see, ever seen it be gone. Well, like you, you see, there's, there's, so many there's things a reason for yeah, the corporation just, of the United States. Yeah, that's yep, not us. bankrupt, and we that's are moving into new. So we, made that up. We, we don't. But, but they utilize the them. Yeah. The thing is, we need to prepare for the next well, phase. It, it goes back to it goes back to what Norma said earlier when we were talking. Where literally, when you're born, they consider you a slave. You yes, go, they own you. And you owe them 68 years of your life in service to, in, yeah. you know, indentured servant uh, to get it back. And after and that, they don't care about you. They want you to die as quick as possible. <laughs> yep. Yep. I mean, they don't care about you anyway, but they figure you owe money. And, and to, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's not that they don't care about you. It, it's like, no. uh, um, think about, think about people, uh, big families uh, 250 years ago. People had 12 kids. I mean, look at Africa 10 years ago. They right. would have 12 kids because five of them would die before they were five years old. Right. right. Two of right. them would die before their first year. And then yeah, when they yeah. got bigger, you know, the girls were the last ones to eat because the boys had to be strong because they actually had to do the digging and control the cattle and, and you know, be helping the neighbors out and being right. that labor right. that makes the dad feel stronger because he's got all this labor under him. Right. right. So the kids were yeah. actually the slave labor yeah. of the parents and everybody grew together as a family. Yeah. Well, which is why when people ask, how could someone sell their child? Well, I mean, you got to think about it. Like when you're sold on this place or you live in this place of um, giving birth is my way of survival. Right. It's the next person to do what I don't have to do. It's that yeah. whole it, it, it's 
the slave. Well, hey, if that, if that individual is supposed to take care of me and I can sell that individual for a money that will take care of me for a number of years, then why not? Because that individual right? is relatively. It's and like hey, that a, person had enough to fucking pay me enough to take care of well, myself. See, for it's also a different mentality. Be, yeah, right? It's well below the red level of survivalistic because I remember a story of a soldier that was, uh, I don't know, I think it was like in Mogadishu or some shit like that. In the, uh, stories from Somalia and shit um, to where he saw this, this guy uh, walk into um, the garbage, uh, you know, heap, the landfill. And he had this uh, piece of plastic, this bag of plastic in his hands, but um, he wasn't carrying it like garbage. He was carrying it in his hands. And, and so yeah. he's like, um, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to bury my son. Yeah. Huh? In a garbage bag in a landfill because it's not the first one he's lost. Yep. When you have that kind of a perspective on life, everything else becomes meaningless. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah we all got first world problems over yeah. here, really. I mean, people have been, yeah, you know, like she was talking about selling your children. Yeah. If they're in a war zone and somebody swoops it's still, right it's in, still not, probably it's, CIA it's, or uh, USA. See, they're in, they're in the wrong resident. Well, these type well, of the reason why coming in and saying, "Hey, we'll pay you," or you know, any of these Jeffrey Epstein types, which there's many of them. That's yeah. one guy. There's many of them. They're everywhere. Like, you need to there's remember Canada, that. There's England. Operations yeah. are running all the all time. The world. And and this whole show bullshit is kind of covering it up by hiding it in plain sight. Well, and the, you know, the yeah. scary thing is that yeah. money talks. This guy for CNN that just got fired, he's going to go to jail. He yeah. actually... All, he actually was soliciting minors online. Got a hold of yeah, this. Yeah, I heard. That, I, I heard that story today. The dude. parent and paid yeah. the parent to yep. fly yeah. across state lines to bring her daughter so he could rape her daughter. Yep. Yep. Well, see, and the woman it. went for it Can and you pimped her daughter out to the sky. Life enough, like seriously, like life enough, right? Because there are religions out there that tell you, oh, this is just an avatar. Fuck it. Doesn't matter what happens to it. Take all the abuse you want because whatever, as long as you're getting what you want, it's all good, right? But are you though? You know what I'm saying? Right. Unless you truly, truly value life. Plant see, life, you, you animal can't life, value, you your can't life, value life, life until you value life. Well, hold on. The problem there is that they don't value themselves. They can't value exactly because they don't well, life. Themselves. Period. They don't value any life. That's not true. Exactly. They, they value their, how much they how much they make. They value yeah, how much life. they can amass. That's yeah. their value. They'll they give think up their power. Their power their their own, what they, is the word? They, yeah, they, uh, yeah, net worth, right? Yep. Yeah. That's the value follows. And that's why they die of ulcers and diabetes yeah. and cancer yeah. and stroke yeah. and heart yeah. disease. And innumerable diseases from high blood pressure because they mm -hmm. stress themselves out and they give themselves over to the system. And later on, whenever they're there, the system says, ha ha, fuck you, you're dead. And we get 40% because fuck right. you. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, and if you heard what companies are doing, good. if Hello. you heard what companies are doing, bro, you're going to say you're going to work for Walmart, whatever company you work for. Do you realize yeah. that they, they take out a life insurance policy on you, on their employees and you don't even know about it? So if you die while working for them, they get like a million dollars. Oh yeah, they get oh, more money. Because yeah. they're going to be losing money, right? That's what they do. Yeah. They're like parasitical. It just oh, it's every so angle they're to trying to suck it's money out of you. Way. That's why it is. You actually you know earlier, buying local, you using buy you, those supporting locals. In that case, there's something you get the money for the family. It's something. Wait, that say that again, Miguel. Start over. I didn't hear you from the beginning. Yeah, say that again, please. Uh, it is something that they do let it's part of the contracts and you can actually see it. They do let you know that they're buying that in, in your name. It's something that the company does for their employees. If anything happens, the employee's family will get the refunds. of. That oh yeah. That's a different one. Yeah. Stuff. That's one that now, happens. Whether or not they stuff. apply that and they use that. It's a whole nother right. story. They can right. be just like a, and no, I've had that. Like, like, they it's, it's, I can't remember what it's called. Accidental and just death and death 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 dismemberment. And yeah. It's basically, if you get hurt, yeah, that's just he's talking about insurance. They take an insurance policy they take out on each employee for themselves, and build their own insurance policy, yeah. policy on you getting hurt. So as yeah. they're they're helping you, big old grip, big old, good, big old, and, and, and the corporation the is the benefactor the of the right? yeah. Oh yeah. man, yeah, that's insane, um, but it's real. You can look this up. I know it's it, bullshit it, when I'm told. Really good you know, of, like this is no, I'm not surprised, dude. I don't. But it is. It's crazy. I believe it before I don't believe it. I'll just tell you that. These days, you got to kind of do it. When somebody yeah, tells you something, I mean, you're going to go, take it with a grain of salt, but go, is that 
a thing? Could be. Look it up. Right. That's what I tell everybody. Well, it is because salt is actually good for you. Um, yes. In yes, it is. moderate doses. Now, what they know is that they do everything in excess. It's like yes. the coca leaf is very beneficial, but all the fucking shit that they do to it in order mm-hmm. to get to that little white gram that's sold on the street fucks the shit out of you and everybody right. around you. All right. right? So there's right. a difference. The industrialization of it is a denigration and the acceleration. Let's make it bigger, faster. Yeah. yeah. More yeah. power. Right. More yeah. power. Make it powerful. Yeah. More stronger. And then people die and they go. And everything. Oh, yeah. I, I, look, I look at uh, football players nowadays to where they're, they're stronger. They're faster. They're, they can jump higher and everything else. But they're fucking made of glass, right? right. Yeah. They hit yeah. they're, they're they're out. Oh my thumb! Are, yeah, I get it. But before, I mean, I played without fucking pads. Yeah, it hurt and shit. Yeah, things happen. Our quarterback fucking played an entire game with a broken hand and still mm-hmm. won the game. Yeah, you know, right. it, there's there's a, a difference in the level of what they're willing to do. One, right. Two uh, of what they've actually gone through. They they tone their their bodies to hot touch such a high degree. It's like it's like the guitar string. You pull it tight enough, mm-hmm. ding, it'll bang. It's yep. just gonna break. You hit it wrong, it just snaps. Yeah, and right. They, it's gonna go fragile. And, and you know that's the truth. That is because if you look at everything, like like you're talking about, look at the the progression of everything. You can see that. I've always said that about like baseball players. You know. Like these guys are like athletes. This guy stubbed his toe and now he's out for a fucking month. What, right. What book, right. Right. But you know, it's, I just, it's not that I played football it's just with pads, so I played football trained. without pads. Right. They're so highly trained that any little difference will bring down their performance. Because yeah. throwing with a stubbed toe, yeah, you can't get your balance and it won't come out and you won't be professional grade and people are going to be hitting shit left and right off of yours. So you can't fucking play because you're incompetent now, motherfucker. You're just right. after. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so they right. have to get at that such a high level to compete. Absolutely. Um, and it's when you get to that point, you have to say. What's it worth? Now, to these guys, right. yeah, it's hundreds of millions of dollars. Fine. But there's millions of kids wanting that same thing that will never get that. And they need to right. figure out when is yeah, enough. Right. See, and that's okay. So we actually, that is in, like right in synchronicity with some of the things we were listening to and doing today. With um, Because when is enough enough? That's That's where this whole big thing is. When do I have enough that tells me, you know what? I mean, and it can grow from here. That'd be great. But I have everything I truly, this is it. I, this is enough for me. Need. I don't it's have to go out there. Needs, I don't want, have to do need. this, that, and the other for more because this is enough. If you don't have right. a sense of enough, then enough is really never enough. I just made a, I just. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Right. So we, it was synchronistic to what you had. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's because they're not at peace with themselves and they have to right. fill the voids they with all the more, other things that. Else. Our addictions <laughs> yeah, are well, you know, and I got them myself. Yeah. in our uh, in our own self perspective, mm-hmm. and they're not at peace with themselves, and they'll say right. they cannot be at peace with the world. Well, yeah, and, and that's they, just they it. fill that either with with food or with sex or with compulsive buying or you know, Imelda Marcos yeah. had like two hundred and two thousand three hundred <laughs> shoes. You know, she would always have a new pair of shoes yeah. every goddamn day. Excess, and, excess. Yeah, excess. yeah. yeah. Closets but just- you know what, though? In, in the human defense, right, the food on this planet is good. Yes, right? it is. It is. Sex on this it planet is, is good. It's good. It is. Right? Okay. So, so in the defense, who might get addicted right. to things? Right, yeah, like alcohol or cigarettes or, or, or dope yes, or whatever. I don't know it's if it's good. good, but I mean, it's uh, <laughs> tobacco, I, I, guess, it, I enjoy my tobacco. I mean, I'm not going to kill, I mean, I'm I'm gonna kill myself over it, but I'm not going to kill myself before I'm supposed to die. Right. Right. Over it. Yes. I could it does, it, I've got got I'm like, everything fuck, I need to stop truly. this and shit. But I know, but I've got I like to have a drink at night. I like to wind down. I mean, Dude, I'm fucking wearing sunglasses because at night I've already looked in the light so much right. and my eyes start doing weird shit. And I should probably, you know, because something. of what I do. So, you know, there's a lot of mystery to me, but it's really not that mysterious. It's just fucking, <laughs> Allison, you know. Allison, was just, responding to what we were saying and uh, Julie said, my husband asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I couldn't think of a thing. Then he said, as long as I have a roof over my head, I'm fine. I'm good. But then Allison said, it depends on who it's with, Leo. I think you're talking true. about sex. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> talking about sex, you're right. Sometimes sex yeah. is okay. 
if you find that out and you really like the person, sometimes you might make those uh, exceptions and go, okay, the sex isn't great, but I really like him or her. Right. right. And so I'm going to stay, but you know, but if not, I mean, you're looking at that, if you, you know, you've got to love somebody to not have good sex. That's all here's I'm saying. Thing, here's where I'm, I come from. And I'm not saying like, I, you know, extremely seasoned in the area, but I'm not entirely ignorant either. When you love somebody, it almost automatically becomes good. Right. Well, agreed. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, because of the emotional there. intimacy. Because yeah. you, have, you have a better connection. Made- Emotional attachment. This is what it was supposed to be in the beginning. They can be terrible, but it's going to be good. We have carnalized it and we had made it mundane because that's what the adversary wants. It is supposed to be a very unique experience that that is done under the absolute best circumstances because you are creating new souls. Yes. The resonance when you're always creating new souls. But now we have done it. I'm just, you know. Not well, now you're we're you're and you're I'm creating soul, but I, I mean, help our I guess if it's excess, you're helping to bring you another soul. And, and you know, they say that that during sex, this is this is an example of that that shows you during sex. They say that if the man and the woman both get off at the same time, the woman has a 60 65 percent greater chance of becoming pregnant. Oh, that's yeah, well, that see, makes sense. Where you're awesome. finding that right wave of yeah. vibration, right? Yeah, well, actually, yep. it, um, my belief is the kid actually happens before the act um, because it is the residence of their wavelengths that come together and create a yep. new form. And if that a new form is in balance and equilibrium, it draws the two together in order to create it. All right. right. So it, it's pre-created and then the act actually creates it. I mean, um, well, I think belief, it's just a, I, I, I have to disagree because I please, feel like go ahead. The, the way I see it, I feel like it's the soul can go in and out of it. Right. But that's the vessel. Right. That's the vessel. So when you're creating something, yes, you are creating a life which is going to connect to a soul. But that soul is a lot more intelligent than just a baby. Yeah. I don't, and I'm not, I'm not, I want to answer Allison. Allison said, uh, that's not true. I got pregnant and I never even got off. I didn't say that you can't get <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> right. He's saying, he didn't even <laughs> fucking take <laughs> the dinner. <laughs> God, the result, the result it's very is, possible to get to get pregnant and not have you as the human. Wrong, you know, you got seven and a half billion people yeah. on this planet that proves that it's really fucking easy. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's easy. I mean, I had and that's many kind of doctors tell like. me I could not have children. That is, I gave yeah. birth to three, was pregnant four times. Right. You know, like congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, seriously. And, you know, I mean, I mean, if you, if so you think about it, in vitro real, fertilization, so. you're not getting off of that. You don't even know what's going on. They're sticking some shit in you and you're sitting there going, what is that? Is that cold goo? And then, you you know what I mean? And you get pregnant. So there's no getting off from that and you still get pregnant. So right. I wasn't trying to say that. So it does well, happen. But I'm saying yeah, biology, science, I still want to hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. I need to yeah. talk stuff again. Um, there are various levels to this because uh, whenever we're seeing the energy flows through the body, and I need to do this in, in the book, man. Um, anyway, whenever we see the energy <laughs> flows through, whenever we see the energy flows through the body, and we see the pH, and we see the other levels, yes, the chemistry will work on one level, on a two D or three D level. Uh, but whenever we're talking about the essence, the the biblical essence that He tells us of why we die, we should actually do this incredible act that we all enjoy so much, is because it, it is with another individual, and that resonance needs to resonate. Yeah. Why? Because that is the individual that you are going to create. So because right. it becomes mundane, because it's normal, they're creating all kinds of fucking retards out there. That my God, did your parents not have birth control? Because holy fucking shit, you should have been an accident. Um, you know, and, and why? Because it was bad fucking resonances that created, and those yeah. bad resonances right. created a bad living environment that also programmed it wrong, that also reinforced other things that were already in the genetic substrate. And mm-hmm. yeah. voila, you've got your incarcerated population. Right. And see, and you know, I can't say I entirely disagree with that. You're right. It should be an act that you truly do want to make sure you're in resonance. The person, not don't let your biology complete. But it's also over. nature. But that's that's biology as well, right? So understanding yeah. your biology and your resonance, know what wavelength you're on, being able to knowing yourself enough. Like I said, honoring your life, your avatar, your person enough to kind of know, right? So yeah, that accident may happen, but thank God it was with someone because you know. I mean, it was always an accident well, with me, but it wasn't. I didn't. Really, I mean, no accident. It wasn't, it wasn't any an accident. of my children, yeah. unfortunately. My, like I said, my first one was because 
they told me I couldn't have kids, dude. So I'm going to take his birth control. And I'm like, whatever. And and, no, and I really did feel like he was one of my soulmates. He was one of my soulmates. I'm going to say that. Uh, we connected very much psychopath- psychopathically. You know, I know, I was gonna say psychopathically. Psychopathically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, psychopathically. Right. Jesus. <laughs> Telepathically. Do you get it? How many psychopaths? And handicapped. How many psychopaths? One. But put a one in the chat if you're a psycho. Put a two if you're a yeah. nerd. Yeah. Right. Um, right. Just, uh, let's find yeah, out how many psychos are in the house right now. We a lot. We were very, very, very deeply connected, right? And and yes, there's also that point that maybe I was just deeper connected to my skills then and I'm a person that can read people's minds I don't know I doubt that though I felt like that you know not that this connection is a connection still happening and I have no nothing to say about it or whatever but he was a part of my path he was a soulmate right. for me he's something that and we created a child. your soulmate. hormones but it, the best was, of you. but it was yes and we you were young to play house. and that's we what I young. did too I mean, in my, I was in my twenties mm-hmm. or my, no, I think I was and we were born with this whole idea of you're supposed to do this, that, and the other. And when your hormones start acting up and your hormones are telling, Hey, that thing that they've been teaching you about is time. Yeah, that's that, that's, uh-huh. that, that's that know? 2D reality. Like I said, there, there are lots of different levels to that existence. The 2D right. and 3D, the, the simply material, what I usually call the red level, that survival instinct. We are nothing yeah. more than animals on this earth. The root we chakra. Will, we were talking about this last week. We will be following those urges and yeah. listening to nothing else. And we know what that leads to. We've got the group of 27. Right. The, yeah. All the, the superstars that died at 27 because they yeah. followed their urges to the maximum. And that's yeah. what happens. And that's not that's not what we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be no, elevated. No, no, no. We're supposed to be higher dimensional beings. And when yeah. we're higher dimensional beings, it means we aren't. Yes, we're susceptible to them because we are still two and three dimensional beings as well. However, we need to resonate at a higher frequency, which means that those things lose a certain level of importance because one, you have what you need in, in the right. most basic sense or the sense of security that you can have the food in the fridge. You don't have to eat yeah. it all the time to be fed, but know that we're not already higher, higher dimensional beings though. I feel like exactly you know, the way I understand it. in that that's the thing we are resonating in lower frequencies yes. and we're lowering yeah. our own. It's self. balancing all of that out and because walking that's in what, the middle. It's not, denying this. it's not denying this. <laughs> I got my talking stick. Damn it. Uh, when, all right. where, hold on. I hey, you two are having a great conversation. Anyway, yeah, yeah, what I was saying is that Go ahead, we Aaron. are fourth dimensional beings experiencing things in th- three dimensional, three in a three dimensional way. Yes. So we're seeing things in three dimensions. However, from my understanding and from what I've gone through, yes, we can rise. I mean, the numbers are endless, man. It doesn't yeah. do that. It just goes back and you 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 regress, and then you progress, and then because you come back around to regression. Right. And then you come back around to, you know what I mean? To regression. It's because once you get I'm the glad that we're in this place, progress, um, you know, you know, there's nowhere else to go. And so you end up yeah. dropping back to the bottom of a new map. Right. Yeah. So yep. it's, it's that's, the, that's an extreme, right? You think and about see, that's things, that's the name of my it's channel. It's one person, a one entity, us all being one thing, trying to learn the same things, but differently, right? <laughs> now, if I'm the only person that can think <laughs> be and do the way I can, if that's I'm the not the one that comes too. back next time, even though I'm different, right? Like People look at reincarnation as like a terrible thing, being stuck in a prison. Funny, but, but you got to kind of think about it. <laughs> if I can only, if I'm the only one that can perceive my life this way, then to see it that way, I might have to come back again so that I can see it like that. No, right? why not be able to see it that way this time so well, you don't yes, you know, harm cool. that other perception as well? Please. And that's part of the what that's part of. The the woke agenda. The problem is the woke has the wrong fucking focus. All right, yes, their their yes, idea is pointing the finger at everybody else instead of going. All no, right, no, but no, you're pointing the finger the right now, bro. Are you? Are you pointing the finger though? <laughs> then I got three pointing back at me. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mirrors, man. As mirrors. long as you're seeing those four I got three pointing back, back at me. All right, right, right That's there. That's it. And I say, you know that all the time because you know what I do is I say. You know what? These goddamn kids and their music, dude. I say that shit, and I'm like, "What in the fuck did I just say?" Like, yeah, that really just sound about me. like my yeah, no. grandfather. TikTok actually, my yeah. grandfather was cool. He would listen to new new shit, but like, I sound like an old person right now. Right. Yeah, you, you know are. what? Uh, Huey Lewis said that. Huey Lewis said that. You know, you're getting old when the music is too damn loud. 
Yeah. I mean, I always like those it loud. Those are the lyrics. Yeah, it's more of the. Where are you bringing me with this? Oh my God, I'm vibrating in a way that hurts my ear. Okay. Um. Nah. You know. But I, I do. I, I'm a. I'm a loud. I mean. I, I told one of my family members as soon as you look at somebody and go, "Oh God, look at what that woman's wearing," or "Oh my God, look at that hairdo." You're starting to get old when you start critiquing. Yeah. I mean, yeah no, I there, are young, there are there are young women who do that. Actually. It's just being a fucking bitch, and they're on another goddamn yes. wave. Which is why I'm saying, say, I think I've done that less as I've gotten older. I think when you're younger, more insecure, or more, you have more of those touchinesses. And don't get me wrong, I am menopausal. Some days, I'm very touchy. But no, I, the I point never is, <laughs> no, never. Yeah. But, um, I'm not buying that. Like you no, know, as I got older, though, I, I realized I could fit something where when I was younger and maybe even going through it myself, which should have been the least time to be judgmental about it or have a, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'd have my opinion or my, oh, well, or my, you know what I mean? But as I've gotten older yeah. and I've gone through more, I've dealt with more. And I've kind of gone you get, through you know what you, right? You You either get wiser, you either get wiser, or you get stupider. I, I think right. that's my opinion. Because when you get older, people who get wiser, are just like you, they calm down, they mellow out, and they go, "You know what, man? None of this is really important." And even when you're a geriatric and you're in your sixties and seventies and eighties, you're yes. you're you're there. You see these men and women, and they're yes. living life in the now, man. Yes. Right? And they're they're just like, "Look, you need to get over that crap, bro." Yes. Just you know, and they sound like yes. these hippies from the sixties, and they might have been. Right. But then there's those other people that just are constantly look at that. Oh my God, that person, I hate that person. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. And that's all they do is complain right. about everybody else. That is, I don't ever want to get to that. If I, you know what? I, I tell people that, although I also joke and, and tell people the other things, but I tell people, if I ever get like that, hit me in the back of the head with a shovel, mm -hmm. right? And leave me in a ditch, right? Although right. I joke about that, I was watching a, a, a show on television. This woman was on there and she was really pretty. And she was a, it was a Christmas thing and she was singing and she was really pretty, but she had her hair wrapped up into this tall bun that was spun around her head. And it was right on the Utah top of her girl. head. It was about this big around. And I said, my God, it looks like a Doberman took a shit on her head. <laughs> and then I started laughing. And then I said, if I ever grow that hairdo, hit me in the back of the head with a baseball bat and leave me there. But, you know, I sent a picture. I'm not going to do it because I don't want anybody to hate mail. But I sent a picture oh, of one my sister. Leo, said, elevate, said, elevate. Dude, you what you, thinking what that you think of this? She said, fifth dimensional. What the fuck are you doing making a two dimensional comment? Oh, dude, so it looked I'm like sorry. a pile of dog shit. Are on my comedy. Those are my relief, right? I get to go, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. I mean, I, I don't like, you know, saying these Oh, it's things funny. I get it. Like, and fun I of anyone. I a but it's party. those thoughts that come in. Yeah. Then I get to go, oh my God. Yes. See, life is fucking funny, isn't it? Uh, they still like, we're all in this place where we're all taking things so seriously. You will be seeing they've done that too. It's perfect, I think. That goes back to what Miguel was talking about before and Aaron talking about total control of yeah. everything is to get us to be that way. Yeah. Because if we're critical of each other, then well. we're constantly think about it. They Probably they did the whole the the PC thing. Back in the 90s, it was really political correctness. He's doing and it. now it's fake wokeness, which is the same yeah. thing. They just changed the name. And they're, you know what I mean? You're oh, you're woke and you you know, the same people yeah. who well, are saying well. that the stuff is what you're doing is bad is the same people that were doing that two years ago. Yeah. And defending that two years ago. But now the fake wokeness has them like completely different. So they did the same thing with Pete with political it's, correctness. So you had political correctness. So they said you can't say those things because it's politically incorrect. So back then I said this to PC and now this to wokeness. Okay. Because yeah. that's what they're doing is exactly what this talked about. They are hypocrites. Yeah. They're trying to follow the letter of the law without the glory of the law. Yes. We don't execute the law because the law to needs to be done. Way. We do it because we love others, and loving others actually executes. As David Ike would yes. say, it's, it's, an inverted. Yeah. it's inverted. It's inverted. It's inverted. <laughs> yes. Julie, I never got to talk to I like David Ike. It is inverted. Yeah, I do too. Julie says, what did because your sister say about the hair, Leo? Like she, my things. sister looked at the picture and said, it does look like a pile of dog shit on her head. And then she laughed. <laughs> yeah, it probably does. I would <laughs> only hope I get one of those virals. I mean, hopefully it's not too embarrassing, but like, take those moments you see, you know? Yeah. Make yeah. someone laugh in your life. Yeah. You know? Agreed. Not at you, preferably. Um, well, right. at you. No, just at that yeah. moment. Yeah. 
and my Jim Carrey, and my Jim Carrey whatever was as happening funniest, there, as, right? Jim Carrey was at his funniest in his most depressed moments okay? because he was putting shows on for others. And so making others laugh made him feel better. And that's why he did it. Uh, and so they, he would be very denigrating uh, because yeah. that was his own opinion about himself. And that's where we need to get... Uh, be careful about those things because sometimes yes. that company is a cry for fucking help. I mean, look at one of my favorite comedians of, of all fucking time, uh, which was Robin Williams. Oh, dude, I yeah. quoted him the other day. Yeah, he's Agreed. amazing. And yet, no, he was a very Robin Williams. Oh, man. man. Great, one of and the greatest uh, uh, ad lib comedians on the, on the face mm-hmm. of Europe, Jonathan he Winters. And he, when yes. the two of them did that ad lib mm-hmm. stuff together, two of the greatest, greatest ad lib comedians in the history of the world. Yep. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I actually yes, got to see him uh, when I was doing a walkathon. Adini himself. When I was doing a walkathon as a kid, we were doing a, a 32 kilometer, 20 mile walkathon, and halfway through it in a park where I where I used to live, uh, he actually flew in, uh, in a, on a helicopter and did a show for everybody that was on the walkathon for free. Yeah, yeah. And William yeah. did that. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's done a lot of amazing, amazing things. He's 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 definitely one of the world's finest, right? Yeah. And and I think. Even watching him and being able to laugh with him, you're right. He was probably trying to find his laugh, doing a little bit more for others. However, like myself, and I do it mostly for myself, the TikToks I do, the little skits, the whatever it is I'm doing, doing your logo. I have to feel it, right? This has got to be what I want to do, or I'm just not going to do it, or I'm not going to do it well. And I, I myself like to do them well. You know, and so you're right. He did battle. And those that couldn't see the battle and the beauty in the battle in his humor, that's too bad because there's a whole nother depth you're missing out on. He he, he was a magical being. I I totally agree. Oh, Robin Williams channeled everything he did. Like it was. Yes. He got up on stage and it was all fresh material. He probably used stuff here and there, but he, 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 like he he said that. Yeah, it was rare that you heard him tell the same joke, right? Rare. Right? Yep. Yep. Right? Yeah, that's insane crazy. I I (laughs) definitely Like I said, a deity himself. It's it's not easy. He was someone that came down here and showed us what humor should be. Miguel, your mic is muted, brother. Love someone enough to make them laugh. Hold on, Miguel. Hold on. Your mic is muted, bro. Oh, he knows. You know, be oh, silly. Okay. Be um, I, I was doing that out of respect because just, we were all talking over each other. Yeah. Um, I know. I was like, sorry. yeah. Norma talks. Um, and she I get to too talky sometimes. sometimes. I apologize. No, I don't have a lot you're like I don't, Norma. Never get talky. Like I don't get too talky. Like Aaron doesn't get too talky. Like Miguel, come on, we're all uh, type A personalities. We can't shut yeah, I mean, up. We, we just have to be <laughs> respectful of each other right, right. and not get upset when we get like buried sometimes because we're yes. gonna we're all gonna bury each other as I long as we don't like do it out of spite right, right. i muted yeah. my mic to not be talking over and allow leo to speak that was just my i forgot that i had it muted and i started <laughs> interrupting but i've done the same thing talking. right you had to tell me last week bro i did the same thing i muted my microphone he's like dude you're muted i'm like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> part of it, part of it. Uh, but um Anyway, I forgot what I was uh, saying while I was yeah, there. So, I, know. Yes, it's, uh, I, I was calling him a deity of comedy. I was I was trying to point out that word. I was trying to like bring a different perspective to the idea because that man was brilliant. You're right. Very sad. Yeah. I don't think he hid that all the time. I think he was somewhat open, but kept his life private. Right. No, and anyone that truly listened to him, watched his, him express himself in film, in stand up, whatever he was doing, you could see the beauty in drunk. his pain. <laughs> yeah. it, it, was, it, yeah, was, was. it was beautiful. He was magnificent. The reason his kids didn't help him when he was in most in need because he was an abusive fucking drunk. Why was he an abusive drunk? Because he had such a difficult fucking childhood that yeah. tortured him for his entire life, which made yeah. his comedy so fantastic. He was an abusive he drunk. Out. He had no that. limits. He could go anywhere and he had and seen it all and, and everything else. Robert I didn't know he was an abusive drunk, drunk though. Did, yeah. Where, where did you hear that? There are, I mean, I, I've listened to hundreds, if not thousands of hours of Robin Williams, not just his stuff, but interviews with him. And yeah, yeah. he'll talk about that post fact. He I don't know, I kind of took offense to was, that. No, no, he was no, too no, much no. Where that, like where that He's from? been open. He's been open about certain be, things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes. he was trying to be private mostly, yeah. but he, he did admit he had certain issues with things and he struggled and his life was difficult. And that's why I say, if you 
truly, he was one that. Well, hold on. Was trying to be himself was also uh, transparent well, enough to the world. Hold on. Let him well, finish. anyone rem see there? There's a. When I was in high school, there was this person that, that taught me uh, a lot of stuff, and and one of the things that, that bothered me the most about her perspective is that she was an existentialist, which meant that that the only way for you to reach a post life existence is when the last person to remember you remembers you after oh. that you are then dead which that means that they need to plant things they need to write books they need to make sure that people will remember them later on that's a very existential way of seeing things right right realistic. that's a sad yeah that's kind of sad yeah, too. But, but it's but it's a, a realistic way of seeing it is it is it is uh, we die, what's left over, and there's nothing That's else. It. It's a yeah. morose and very depressing way of living right. life. Now, the reason that I you know, choose to follow um, certain paths is because there's redemption there. And with the redemption, there's life. And with yes. the new opportunity, there's a blooming. And there's an opportunity yes. to be something better, to be someone new, to uh, follow the footsteps of somebody who actually did it well. And right. did it so well that 2,000 years later, we're still talking about it. That is the essence of existence. That is what we want to try and get back to. Okay. Um, that, that is the I essence like of is, marketing, bro. I'm that, sorry. That's, well, that's another, that's I'm true. sorry. That's but the, like we were my, talking about me. earlier, it's that balance. It's that, it's that perspective of knowing how to use your Great marketing. Your higher, your all. But truly, marketing is, yeah, that is a big one. Yeah. Because I have a problem with the Bible and I have a problem with how it's stolen from paganism and then taken parts out that were important. Right. Like because they want, they, again, this was trying to centralize not. all of these yeah. pagan people, the Vikings, the indigenous people. Right. Well, Caesar like, had to have control over everybody. Right. So that's why I'm, yeah, I feel like it's Caesar's book. Yeah. It well, is. Okay, now I want to. I'm not saying that Jesus is a Greek. Hold on, Creed was was developed in Caesar and, and all on. the. Yeah, was. Hold on, I want to. I want to back up what Aaron said. Okay, I just watched a documentary, albeit it was done by Hebrew rabbis, right? Yeah. And we know that they're anti-Christianity oh, from right, the get-go. Right, right. So I'll preface it with that. However, they took a good, long, hard look at history, and they claim that one of the Caesars invented yes. Christianity and, the, and Jesus' that character. Would be Titus. Our, the Titus. Titus. Uh, yep. Yes. And he put himself yeah. in a lot. And I saw that on History Channel. You can actually go watch it. It's called yeah. uh, Caesar's, Caesar's Messiah. Messiah. That's yes. funny how, how we came to this. I actually watched yeah. that video on YouTube. I didn't know you had saw it. I didn't have a chance to talk to you about it. So as soon as you yeah. said that, I was like, bro, I watched the video where they I broke it down for me. Watch it. It yeah. just, it just, yeah. I mean, and I, th I think of it more as like, okay, I'm sorry, but I am really into the gaming theory of things and how we are in like the simulation and this game. And I think of it more as an archetype. Like these are archetypes. Jesus yeah. says, turn the other cheek. Jesus says, be compassionate. That's good. Turning the other cheek isn't always good though, because yeah. that's what, what we're, that's we're in this problem. Well, hold on, hold I on, can take on. from another archetype. I can, can take that. Hold on. Can I talk I about that? I, 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 I had a serious problem with the turn the other cheek. I'd like to explain the turn the other cheek thing. All right. You're six foot five. No, three. Six no, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying imagine a situation to where you're six right. foot five. Imagine. And some chick that's five foot two comes up to you and slaps the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to punch her right in the fucking face? Or are you going to look at her with a stern look and say, try it again. Let's see what happens. That's right. turning the other cheek. It's saying yeah. I'm stronger okay, than you. Way, you forgot I can her. take your you shit. Away, and I'm not going to fucking hit back, back at you. I am okay. stronger than you. I can take your shit. Yes, right. you yes. Choosing the battle, off. though. I feel like that's it's more different. about choosing yeah. the battle. Yeah, that's when we turn around and we walk the fuck away. Yes. Yeah. So well, no, and, and I agree with that. That's the verb battles. Turn the other cheek. You battle your own demons. You go in peace. Sorry, Leo. Yeah, I no, 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 I was, I was, I was backing up what you were saying, and I want to back up. I also want to say that because I had said about the Jesus character being invented. I also want to preface that for those of you who know, and Miguel knows this because we talked about it, that the Jesus character, even if it was invented, it was invented from a cookie cutter, which was Jesus' character, yes. 
reoccurring 20 or 12 times. Yeah, yeah. 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 Season was into mithraism. Season was into mithraism. And so yeah. that yeah. also went into all the different um, pagan cultures and everything else. They became saints and all that kind of well, shit. Well, it was actually, uh, yeah. who was it? But he was probably a Caesar. I mean, he was connected. Look at how our world's connected right now. It is connected to Rome. It is connected to these power centers, right? Um, but it was actually uh, Constantine. Yes, who, who Constantine wrote, was Caesar at the time, or he yeah, was a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Constantine yeah. was a, was into Mithraism. He also yeah. pulled in the Nicene uh, the Nicene uh, Council of Nicaea. Council of Nicaea. Yeah. He did two councils in Nicaea, Greece. and they took all the. Oh, you know, 87 books out of the Bible. <laughs> all, supposedly all the different churches had some different belief from some different apostle that they were listening to, and they were all diverse, and they were all free. And right. they wanted to centralize control exactly yeah. what these people thought. Yep. And so they, all right, what do we all agree on? Oh, you yep. don't believe in, in life after death, but you do believe in life after death. Well, what the fuck? Um, whatever. Uh, yeah, right. They toss shit in there. Because even yep. in, in, within the Hebrews, some believed in life after death and others believed that no, this is all that there was. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and so they all have that perception. The problem is that we don't perceive that there is something after this. This is right. only part of a longer process. And we have to be able to focus on that which is above. Okay. Right. We need to place our treasures in heaven. We're, we're building things to where, for example, um, I was uh, cutting the underbrush because I'm trying to work on, on laying some pipes on a project that I've got that will maybe take five years that I've been planning for the last 10. Hopefully you're okay, feeling something that, that, that you keep pushing forward and eventually it becomes true and everything else. And why it's not for me, I'm not going to be able to fucking enjoy it, but maybe my kids will. And right. if I, and, and if I give them the way my dad gave to me, you know, they'll be able to give that on. And if they're based and they're comfortable and they're secure, they can help others around them yeah. as well. And yeah. that is the goal to get above yeah. the red level to the orange level, which is yeah. security, employment, productivity, yeah. yes. and to the yellow level, which is family, society, you know, embracing everything else, getting to the green to where people recognize the effort that you made. You get the recognition, the responsibility and, and all the rewards that people have. But ultimately, we need to look for the blue. Why do you yep. exist? What was your person? What was your purpose for existence? Every single one of us has it, and it yep. is our duty yep. to find it, so that we can be the best version of who we were supposed to be when we were here. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and you know what? And, and the truth is, very native. That's the very native concept in, in, in North like America. A and a half. So, right. so it's very native concept in North America as well. Is that you hope that in life your goal is to give back so that when you leave this earth, it's in a better place than it was when you found yeah. it. And that the people that are still surviving you then have the tools to do the same thing. Yes. Meaning right. they also have to have the mindset, not just and then yes. they, can grow from they have to have the same mindset spiritually that you did to then pay it forward again and again, hoping that everything changes over time and that we create a better and better and better place. Well, yeah. see, yeah. blessings are generational. Whenever we have what, I mean, I call it the spirit of the Lord. You guys consider it as the, the resonance of, of elevated thinking and everything else, whatever. Whenever I'm no, no, I still, believe, life, in, I still believe in a creator. I still believe in that. I, that's, I, that's where we agree. Yeah. I just don't believe right. in a creator like with one certain concept. I feel like I think that we're all deities in our own way. And yes, he yes, has a very, very popular too. one. He got all around the fucking world and he resonates with a lot of people. He ain't the only one. We are all creators. We are all that. We are all that if we want to be, if we choose right. to be that way. And that's yes, really right. purity to me is being right. pure of heart, being authentic, Jesus loving uh, loving each other. Yes. Not yes. fucking, if you don't have anything nice to say, you know, unless we're don't trying to defend ourselves, thing. which we are <laughs> right now, we're defending the fuck out of ourselves. So, yes, we're going to be a little mean. We're going to say fuck. We're going to say fuck you. That's not going to happen here. Sorry. Right. No. I don't consent to that shit. Wait, and that's wait. it. It's not, who's, who's we're not out attacking. Speech? We're out. We're who's, just living who's, our lives. Who's limiting your, who's limiting your speech? No, who's I'm like, who's, no one's limiting my speech right now because we're still going. Right. I mean, we're doing, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm talking about how I'm trying to just or show the difference or explain the difference between force by defense and you having to use it. Just like if somebody were to shoot somebody that came in their house and tried to kill them. And they shot them. That's self-defense. That's how we go with these things. It's not never an attack thing. I never will tell anybody to go out and fucking cause problems. Right. 
You know what I mean? I like it. You understand no, what I'm, I'm saying? Not gonna cause any problems. Uh, I just warn you. He's got uh, a hatchet and fucking machete. So let's don't draw anything into there. All right. Again, who is a psycho and who is an empathic person? Just kidding. I'm both. I'm yeah. both. I know. He's, I know. I like. Yeah, we are all both. We're all yeah. that dual Agreed. part of ourselves. We're all that yeah. feminine and masculine energy. And yep. Sometimes that gets chaotic. But hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump off of this and I'm gonna jump back on with my phone. I'm gonna go have a smoke. Okay, then, cool. uh, so give me about five, ten minutes and I'll be back. Okay, on. And then just then just right. yeah, hop on. See yep. you guys in a minute. Adjust my donut. <laughs> right. So you know because uh, because now now I feel like a fucking poodle. Uh because I got a little ball at the end of my tail. Right. <laughs> right. Holy fucking shit. Well, you know, but getting old the, the, sucks, the, man. Let me tell you. But the, you know the truth is that we just need to do. We need to we need to stop them from doing crap that they're trying to do. And like Peter said earlier, that the power is in the land here, and in the control of the population. And he was talking about that. That's why the Vikings were were raping and pillaging and and you know land grabbing because power is in the land. That's why the Europeans got to America and did the same thing, grabbed all the land from the Native Americans, right? Because that's where your power base is. If you own the land, then you can say that you own the slaves on the land. Later later that's on, it was the population that became the, the currency. They borrowed on the potential productivity of their population. If their population wasn't productive, they couldn't borrow as much. Right. Um, but what they did in the U.S. is, well, fuck uh, productivity. If you want to buy oil, you'll buy dollars so we can do whatever the fuck we want. Woohoo! Right. Um, and life rolled for about. He who controls the spice years. controls the universe. Oh, fuck. Um, however, why do we need to be dependent on spice? Why do we need to be part of the Galactic Federation? Why cannot, like there was a comment that went through there earlier, why can't we support local shops, local yeah. farmers? people in our community if you feel strong enough in, in your own ability help those that are around you and like a forest a tree by itself will get felled that's why in the united states you get those big wind gusts and you see all these trees along the street that fall down because they're all big ass trees by themselves right but when you have trees that are for example i got two that are falling over but they're leaning over on another one so that gives me another couple of days before I can actually pull them and put them back in, in place so I don't lose another three trees because of the landslide that's, that's happening over there. Um, trees, when they're together, they help each other to a certain extent. You know, sometimes yes. it's too much and, and they go. But right. in, in essence, uh, and there are studies that I've read and videos that I've seen to where they explain how the, the fungi talk between the roots of the trees and tell the other trees what the necessities of certain ones. So if some trees are needing a certain nutrient, the other trees will start feeding that nutrient through the, the root base and through the fungi into the tree that's needing it the most. They help each other out so that the entire forest is strong. Yes. Yeah. They're not thinking about themselves. I'm going to be the tallest tree. No, all the trees together grow well. I'm going to grow strong, but if I can, I'll help somebody else. Yeah, they, yeah they're, they're more hive mind oriented than we are. Yeah. Well, they, they are they are one big cosmic consciousness because they're dependent on so many other things. They don't move. So it's yeah. really difficult for them to really defend themselves or do what they need to do. So they are dependent on the structure. Yeah. <clears throat> we as human beings are the structure. We're not dependent on the system. We created the system to make our life a little bit easier, but then it got subverted and it became a control issue. So again, we must break away from that system. And like today, I'm dressing in clothes that would have been worn 200 years ago. Why? Because we don't need more than that. Everything else right. is an exaggeration. It's an ego trip. You know, oh, I want the newest car. I got a 20 year old car. Yeah, I need to fix it up and it would be nice to have a new one. However, I don't need it. It still gets me right. around, it does what it needs to do. Um, but the people are obsessed in this, this purchasing and buying and, and impressing and being more and doing this and doing that's the system that they put on it. They want us to all be single serving, uh, right now, 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 got to have the latest thing. Produce, Doesn't matter. Produce yeah. and consume. It keeps the economy going, yep. but it destroys your soul. Um, yeah. so what we need to do is focus, for example, you can produce and you can be great. Why doing the things that you like to do, your special abilities, the things that makes you phenomenal. Um, cause, uh, like they, they were saying that 
people have certain abilities. And if you don't have an ability in one thing and you work in that area, you're going to suck at it and you're going to be miserable at it. And people are going to make fun of you because it's not something that you're into. And so don't go into it. Because, oh, that area makes money. Not if you're not good at it. Because no matter what area it is, if you're not good at it, you're not going to make money. And no matter what area it is, if you are good at it, eventually you will get recognition and money from that. Okay, why? Because that's the way the world is. So if you're good at something, focus on that, whatever it is. And each one's got their own fucking ability. So try and find it. And that's your blue level. And that's what everybody needs to try and search for. And that's the focus of my book. And my book is my blue level. Right. And on that note, um, I'm parched. Take over, Leo. <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I agree with, with what Denise says right here. But what you have to realize is some people, Denise, are superficial. And they don't care about how they feel on the inside. They mm. just want everybody to have the appearance that they're rich and wealthy and all of this. But you're right. Most of them are miserable on the inside because of what they had to do to get that wealth. And they know it. And they know instinctively that it's wrong, but they don't care because they're about themselves. You have to remember that. So again, here's the, the truths we cling to. It's, it's, it's like the financial it. analyst who gets home after a 12 hour day and downs half a bottle of whiskey just so he can go to sleep to kill the thoughts that he had during the day of all the shit that right. he had to fucking because do. Because all the bad shit he had to do. Agreed. Right. Or a defense attorney that knows his client is a murderer or mass murderer, but he's got enough money to pay. Fuck him to I, made, I, I made a hundred grand defending that bastard. I hope he doesn't kill anybody else. Right. Uh, it's not on me, God. It's on uh, him because he has to make his own. That's how they justify their shit. Right. But then again, it spills over. And like you said, they're either an alcoholic and they're drinking a fifth of whiskey or they're whatever other things they're doing to take away the pain addiction. of what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, they have I mean, you got guys that, that are, you know, 500 pounds. Why? Because that's the only the only legal addiction that we have anymore is food. And so everybody has gone off on that. I mean, the United States, 40 percent is is over uh, is. 60% is overweight, 40% are obese. Um, that wasn't a reality when I was a kid. Uh, and Brazil is becoming like that as well. Um, when I got right. here, people were actually lean and everything else, but they've become more and more American. And I see people, their waistlines just going, they're not going to the beach, they're not walking, they're driving in the car and, and everything else. But that's some things. Other people are just like, I had a friend of mine who, you know, she was married to, to a, a lawyer who's going to be a judge later on. And but they were addicted to, to sex and it, it ended up going to such dark places. She ended up getting a divorce and, and having somebody else. And now she's got three daughters that are grown and, and have their own families. And so congratulations to her. But she recognized uh, the addiction and the problem that she had at that time as well. And so every single one of these vices are, are necessarily good things. That's why they feed our brain and they make us feel good. But at the same time, it, it can't be the main focus of, of existence because that's, again, at the hormonal, at the chemical, at the base uh, existence survival mentality. And we need to kind of get above and beyond that. But people are empty inside because they don't have their own purpose. They haven't found their meaning in life. And so they are empty and they try and fill that with everything or with the purchasing, going to the mall every fucking day. I used to spend money. I would love at the beginning of the month going and buying two video games. I felt so fucking great because I got two video games that month and I could play something new uh, the whole month. And the next month I'd be buying another fucking video game. Every month I'd be buying a video game or, or CDs or music. I had $2,000 worth of CDs that I had back in the day and got stolen when I was in college. There, right. I, I, I collect, I collect shit. I, I, I'm right. I have a very highly addictive personality. And so the things that I like, I like a lot. And, and I end up going to them, you know, head and nail. It's like, I don't smoke five cigarettes a day. Sometimes it goes to pack and a half or two packs if I'm doing lives and smoking normally. And so, yeah, there are things that are exaggerated that I need to cut back and I need to recognize those. Um, however, everybody's got their own. Right. I've got Absolutely. mine. I'm trying to recognize mine, but everybody's got their own because there's, there's this internal void. If you're not at peace with yourself, you cannot be at peace with the world. Right. Right. But how can we be at peace with ourselves? How, how does that peace come? Leo? Right. Well, that's the journey, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's what we're here to do, to find out each one of us, find our own way. Right. Um, so how did I, that come? I, we don't know. Well, we it's individual for each person. I, kind of, I feel really relaxed and comfortable when I'm doing the things that I know are going towards the goals that I set up and I established. 
Um, I feel really comfortable, for example, when a friend of mine called me because his mom had problems with their roof and I went over there and, and helped them for the entire day fixing their roof, you know, being the third wheel and, and low man on the totem pole and just having to listen, even though I knew that they were wrong. Um, but it's their roof. So fucking let them do it their way. Right. Just to help. Right. Um, I can't impose my will on others. It's their fucking roof. Um, and, and that's, that made me feel good. It made me feel great. Yes. I was exhausted at the end of the day, but you know, um, a friend of mine, he, he remembers that the entire time. Why? Because that's what I do. Okay. It, it's about the real world. It's about being able to touch and, and, and feel other people. But that, um, but I've been virtual since 95. I, I wouldn't be able to be in Brazil if I didn't have the internet and connections and videos and, and connection to the U S because even though I've been here for 25 years, um, do I have a Brazilian accent? Have I lost my abilities in English? Because I've always focused on that. Basically, I brought the United States into Brazil. My house is right. a little territory of the U.S., basically, because everything here is, in, for me, is in English. It's, it's American culture. It's not Canadian. It's not British. It's not Australian. It's American. Uh, it's Texas, hopefully, preferably. Um, but I get stuff from other places as well. Um, it's the Internet after all. But that's my identity. And, and that's what I see myself as. And, and I just want to grow from there. I found a place that suited the, the needs that I felt I needed. Because um, I listened to older people and I listened to people that were that had battled their entire life and they had worked their entire life. And they said, Oh, when I get just, you know, 10 more years and I'll be able to get that bar down in Florida and be in the beach. I'm sick of the fucking cold weather and blah, 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 blah. Or, oh man, I'm here in the concrete jungle. I just wish I could be out in the, the mountains and the woods and, and just enjoy shit. And you listen to people complain about life and you realize that they're in the middle of doing things they need to do, but they want to be doing other stuff. So why can't I go directly to that other stuff that they'd like to be able to do if I can beforehand? Right. Um, so it's what's stopping that, me from doing that? Yeah. Right. Well, I, I did that and then I got fucking bored because I had no goddamn purpose. <laughs> and that, therein is where I started writing my book. And that became one of my right. purposes. Because if you don't have purpose, you drift and you lose yourself and you become yeah. much less than you could be. So when you find well, yeah, you become complacent and, and when you become complacent, then, you know, then you start buying into their system because you have nothing to think about or do. So you get caught and you don't realize that that happened unless you do realize that happened. And then like you did, you start becoming productive in a way that you think can pay the world forward. So then I mean, you, I, I you, you leave a, I you'll park yourself. I'm, I graduated international business, but right now I'm doing podcasts with, with you and, and mine on on Tuesdays and my dad on Saturdays. Um, they're more, well, his is, dad's is economic, but ours are, are more kind of spiritual, but it's it's the es essence of the, the matrix multiverse, right? Um, and that wasn't the focus that I, that I studied on when I was in university, but that's what I was always interested in. So basically what I studied in university was wrong for me because I never resonated with it. It was something in my right. family. It was something that generates money, but it never generated money for me because I'm not that good at it. It's not my focus. Um, so now I'm going to be starting a course in psychology. Hopefully that'll uh, lead me to different places. I don't know. Um, but I'm an, an <laughs> autodidact. If so, you've never taken any psychological courses, that will lead you to different places, man. No, I, I've taken so, a lot of well, them. Well, I've other things that I think I've lots of shrinks. I've, yeah, I've well, one of the things I think people should take is a psychology course because it, it forces you to look in. It forces you to do that. Man, because you're you have to. Am I doing that? Am I being narcissistic? Am I being right? Uh, so and because control? you become aware of those things, you have to then admit those to yourself. Am I doing that? Yeah, right. Because exactly. then you can't look at someone else and say they're being narcissistic without going, "Well, am I narcissistic? Should I be paying attention?" So it kind of forces you. And some people try to to keep that to where they don't look in. They just want to judge other people. That doesn't last long. And eventually, they have to do the same thing. We all have to 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 go through the same problems to figure them out right i mean it's just kind of what happens unless you do like you were saying and you pay attention to history <laughs> and what they said and what they went through to make your life easier because that was what they're trying to do your grandparents are trying to make your life easier by telling you the stories of their strife so that you exactly and get where you're coming from and it doesn't have to be that hard bro yeah exactly exactly because that's that's what that's what love's about. I mean, whenever we think about love, think about your grandparents. 
because they yeah. don't want anything out of you. They demanded that out of your parents and they right. rode the shit out of your parents and your parents are pissed at your grandparents because they were paying in the ass the way that your parents are paying in the ass to you because that's the way it fucking is. But the grandparents right. dealing with the grandkids, that's just pure love. There's nothing that they yep. have to do. They just want to make sure that, that kid's happy. They they want to shower him with whatever will make him laugh and, and may fill their hearts with joy because they made their subsequent generations happier or made their life a little bit. Easier. Well, they also know what stripes this person may go through in their life without those things. So they want to contribute things that are going to you know, you're, you're also giving too much credit to old people. Not everybody, when they get old, I'm not get, saying that all of them. I'm not doing. I'm not broad uh, painting with saying all of them that way. I'm saying some of them yes. are because there are some individuals. You're right because Absolutely. truthfully, the masses are more sleepwalking. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> oh, but I want to be yeah. proud of my grandkid. Where I want to show him off at the bridge club next week. You know what did he do good? Well, he got an right. A in math. Oh, uh, well, did he do it? He got any volunteer work or anything else? Oh, well, I guess. Yeah, my grandson got an A in math. Yeah, what did yours do? You know, that sort of right, thing. They're competing. Like they have a, my oh, dog's better than your dog. My my kid, my grandkid's better I, than yours. I felt that my entire life because yeah. I was the, the trophy kid. Um, yeah. I, I was, was too. I was daddy's first born son. So I was the trophy son. kid. Same thing. Yeah. I was uh, the fucking badass that they would toss up. Look what I did. Ha, 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 ha. Which is a good thing, because um, uh, I'm not complaining. Uh, my dad did a great fucking job, but it was a bitch getting here. <laughs> right? I mean, it, right? it wasn't sure. fucking sure. easy. No, sure. um, life's got its own kinds of scars. Um, but hey, well, that's what it's for. If there was no chaos and there was no strife, then we wouldn't learn anything. And that's what the problem was in the very, you know, in the beginning, was that that we all knew that we were the one. And so we were just chilling, right? I'll get there, dude, whenever. We're like a bunch of potheads. No, man, it'll happen next millennia. I'm cool, right? Give me another drink, dude. Garcon, where is that guy? You know what I mean? So, there's, so Oh, no, I live in that reality. Because yeah. everybody's like tomorrow, not a problem. I ain't got to yeah. do it right now. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I, that's it. Go I ahead. dropped everything, and I grabbed my scythe, and, and I haven't done that in at least six months, and I'm pushing 50, so why the fuck am I doing that? But and and I had a friend. Right. Don't you have a weed eater? Yeah, but there's rocks and stones, and I don't know exactly what's under there because it's not exactly flat terrain. And so I went in there with my machete, and and I I had to come back to get my hatchet because there's felled limbs and tree trunks and everything else that's there that I had to chop apart in order to open up a path so that people could get that to where they needed to 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 lay some some pipe work that I need to do. Um, and so I went in there and cleaned all that out because next week they're going to be here and, and they're going to need that done. And I'm not going to hire somebody to do something that I can fucking do. And I just went out there and got it fucking done. Right. Welcome back, Aaron. Welcome, Aaron. So Thank you. question, she says, question, how do I, how do we know what our purpose is for today? It's just to live in the moment and learn every day from my mistakes. Is that enough? Uh, it's a, uh, it's tough one to understand. Well, that's a good now, question. Now, now hold on. Uh, I, I, I need to answer this. And when you know your purpose, when you resonate with it, you're yeah. happy doing it. You don't think whatever your bliss, whatever your you bliss is, even, you, you that, dream right? about it. You, you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning and you can taste it in your mouth. Yeah, that's what I got to do. I need to get it done. Yeah. Oh, that's my next step. Oh, uh, I can't do that yet, but I really want to. What do I need to do in order? That's when you know it's your purpose because mm -hmm. it's your own internal motivation that makes you want to get there because it's your thing. See, right. And my life path is a life path of change. And I have found myself in that position many times. Change or chaos? But yes, when you feel it, do it right like you don't want to be hurting anybody else you don't want to be stepping on anybody's toes <clears throat> you don't want to take away from anyone else but if it's mo if you if you are drawn to do that thing no matter what it is mine is lip syncing on tiktok right now i, I love watching it. you too freaking fun <laughs> i find people that have the skits that i like and i feel like i can do me right here and i do it right it's beautiful it's fun it works for me Whatever moves you, whatever, whatever, whatever is you moving feel you, be willing resonating to do that. from you in you. Right? Like, don't go do shit that you don't want to do. I mean, there's sometimes we got to do well, shit obviously. we don't want to do. Of there's course. stuff sometimes you don't want to do. Don't do that to shit you daily do. for the rest of your life because sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do. That's a fucking waste. To get to where you want to and do. And many people do it. Yes. Like, 
More people well, than don't. You know, I you got to realize this, and I, I like what both of you guys are saying right here, and I want to I want to back that up by by explaining this. Uh, Miguel was was talking about it earlier about the chakra points and the and and coming through from red to to uh, orange to yellow Maslow's pyramid, but yeah, and, it also yeah, well, but, but you know, the, the know we, we are both see it like the other but, way. You know, the root chakra is the is the I am chakra. It's the yeah. that's the chakra of I am there. I think therefore I am. It's the root. It's the beginning, and then you go to the to the yellow ray, which is which is I feel. That's yeah. where you. That is the I feel chakra, and then when you get to the yellow ray, which uh, I talked about this before. This is we are in the in the double or triple yellow ray position in the yeah. universe because our sun, Sol, the star, is a yellow ray star. Our right. planet is the third planet, third chakra from the bottom is the yellow ray chakra. We're on the third planet from the, the from the third chakra point, and that is the I do place. So this place where we're at is the I do as well yeah. as uh, as knowledge. So yeah. the, like Aaron was saying, and, and uh, Miguel, and was, there are certain things that we have to do because this is the I do plane of existence. Yeah. This is the third density and it's I do. And from here, you move up into what? Wisdom and love. That's yeah. what's beyond this. So while we're here, there's certain things that we have to do with this physical avatar because we're existing in the plane of I do, right? Yeah. So we, I am, yeah. I feel, yeah. Oh, I do. And then next it's, I love. Right. And then wisdom. What is that understanding? What does that mean? So that's where we're going from here. When we go into the fourth and the fifth density, those are the two things that we will primarily um, learn there. So for right. now we're, we're trying to raise our spirit in that area already. We're moving up, but our physical body is still stuck right. in the third density, third dimensional. I do plane. Yep. So there's things we have to do here for this body to exist. Things we perceive yes. that we can perceive yeah. right now. And that doesn't mean that we yeah. can't stop and pay attention and jump up into that, that high dimension. Because we That's will. What we, have to look we will. To we, exactly. we like peek at it. We, we go up there for a minute, then we come back down. Because You're not as many people. Same. I mean, that's the whole thing is we're all gaining a, a deeper understanding whether we like it or not. There's pe plenty of people that are, you know, not up and, and they're... Uh, hiding in their house and you know wearing a mask when they're in their car by themselves and don't that's fear that's i don't want to i don't want to know anymore i just want to know what i know right now and then let's leave it right and there some people but, are know, okay with that because they're unseen afraid of what you want to see yeah and that's where we we've got a lot of those people going you through that into a psychosis. psychosis because of that yes that's that's why well, the problem is that's psychosis. the trap that's yeah. the trap. You get caught in the trap of, of that. You go, I don't want to know anything else, man. I just want to be here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that are stuck in the. Yeah, in the yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you guys find yourself doing that, you need to get to go back that whatever it is that you're feeling the fear and stop feeling the fear and stand up and say, wait a minute. It's yeah. not that bad. Most people are afraid because like Miguel said earlier, they haven't made peace with themselves yet. And yes, so they're afraid. Exactly. They're afraid to die because they don't know what's going on because they haven't made peace with themselves or God. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they're they're afraid of the change. They're afraid of what will happen if I do that. I could get killed. <gasps> I don't know what's going to happen then. And to add I to that, yeah. at, yes, it I is that whole like it. fear of like, am I going to yeah. do something here? Am I going to do something there? Because they have not centered themselves enough or at right. least been present in enough of their livelihood to yeah. understand that this does not mean that i mean right. maybe this thing can help but this this does not mean that i've had enough right. life to know this does not mean that i mean shove it down my throat or not so, so what do we it's one plus that? one is always two you know it's two always three. like yeah it's always it's, no wait no that's not right there, there, there's that's there's, where we're at we're at this weird place where a lot of people are questioning mm -hmm. but most people, and I think a lot more people are actually waking up. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, before, bro. Right. It's the yeah. Great Awakening. And not yep. many of us have that confidence, right? I, I don't want to put it out so broadly, but on the for reals reals, just the societal um, trauma that every single person has gone through in their life is enough for many of us to be so afraid. Yeah. It just... But see, now that's being done on purpose so that we will not advance. Yes. yes. Well, there's these whole, yes. like we were talking about parallels, right? So there's yeah. the natural parallel, where we're, we're natural progression of where we're going. 
where we should be going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. We have all the smart people and they're inventing things. And, and then we have this other one that tries to control it and tries to take over <coughs> and get ahead of it because that's that like red level, right? Like we talk about that red level, trying yep. to take that purple level, which is up in that, you know, consciousness, the higher consciousness. Yep. That's that red level, which never has the power to take that over because if you right. you can't take my mind and my thoughts and my intuition, you can't. That's a very good point. Elon Musk is very good point. It is best yeah, to try. Try. They continue to try. They, right. agree, they continue to try. But once you get yourself, for those of you who are, are, are worried about this, once you get yourself spiritually to a certain level, and you'll know what that is. That's like high magic. When you can use it, you're there. It's the yeah. same thing. When you when you look within yourself, here's the saving factor that I want you guys out there in the world to know. And this is what Aaron was talking about. This is what Miguel was talking about, and what Norm was talking about. Right now, you're afraid. You don't want to take any chances because you don't know what's going to happen. And what if I put myself out there and then I'm going to look stupid because I failed? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. that fear that's keeping you from doing it. And once you get past that fear mentally, yeah. your spiritual uh, reality, and once you get to a certain point, like Aaron was just alluding to, they can't no longer control you. Right. <clears throat> they can't tear you down. Because right. you have found yourself. So you were coming into your own right as an independent being. Yes. Once you understand that, 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 that these people who act like they're in charge are no better than you at all, and that right. you right. are the rock star you want mm -hmm. to be, once you see yourself for that, they can't tear you down anymore yep. because, like Aaron said, you've moved into that purple, yep. that purple ray, which is you up here. This is me as a being outside of this avatar. Once yep. you achieve that, trust me, because it happens. Once you achieve that, you will then forever, when they do something, you'll go just like Aaron said, no, wait. No, I'm not, not to say it won't hurt I'm your not feelings playing. first. Yep. Not right? to say it won't spark oh, that little that, trigger Not to say you. you won't be scared. Right. Not it's to still say it's not going to make that <laughs> However, feeling However, you go. know that there's a better but there's that thought what going, trying to create. Whoa, them. why do I feel like that right now? Yep. Why do I think yep. that right now? Why is that what I'm coming to? Yep. And because you are thinking of that, as long yep. as you're willing to go into yourself and go, whoa, you yep. know? And maybe that story was so scary, but why is it so scary? Because look at all the, okay, they've taken comedy out of our lives. They've taken a lot of the drama, really. I mean, nine times out of 10, everything as far as media goes is now horror slash. Gloom and doom, dark. Horror yeah, comedy. Yeah. Horror yep. drama. Horror yep. this. Keeping us in that, that red okay. level. Keeping us so, in, or trying to. Not a, right. I, I'm telling you, I, I've never yep. seen in the last year i think the first year was like more a lot more fear and we got to see how many people like folded over and we're just like oh my god got to see how many germaphobes there were out there i mean i'm sorry but i love you i'm right? a germaphobe i i the social distancing thing was great for me because i always kept my social distance well, from you just don't like it works with you because you yeah. feel like you you're not oh you're god always better but what we need to do is connect that energy that doesn't mean we need system. to touch each you know other what? but it just means space. we are symbiotic connected beings. That doesn't mean we're all, uh, I'm not, we're going to go off on that too. The whole, we are mm -hmm. all one shit because we right. are, Both. however, can we, and this was a discussion you were having last night, Miguel, about how that can turn into totalitarianism yes. and that yes. or I was listening yeah. to somewhere. I can't remember if it was your show, but that, that can turn into like this place of like totalitarianism or fascism where, you know what? I'm better than you, mm -hmm. and you're dirty. Right. Yeah. You do not belong. You do not deserve to live. You do not deserve to live on the same plane. Under the me. same privilege. See, that, that is wanting to do. impose your will on somebody else, and you cannot do that ever. Right. right. Well, See, they're 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 well. But the thing is that they don't impose their will. They allow the people to impose the will on themselves. Because they they constantly they feed you into accepting their stupid bullshit. Yes. Yeah, you do it voluntarily, and that yes. is the lie. They strike that it. cord or that emotion in you, and they right. just carry you along, right? Well, and, and, and so whatever know, is so this. resonant within you, they just they play this little chord here that makes you feel like it's it's got to be right. Because it, I mean, it, this is from the thing that made myself feel good here. And uh, many of us, unfortunately, don't like to take the time enough to go, wait, what once felt good isn't really feeling all that good anymore. Because they keep us so busy 
with right. everything else. And even when we're not on the grid and we're not even thinking in that place, like just think about just your own land, right? You're, you're handling your, your, your livelihood to a point that sometimes those like have tos are just like subconscious, right? You just do them because you know, they have to be done. Right. Because you are caring for and loving and, and, and caring for so much stuff throughout the day. You're, you're doing so many things that there's always those things you just aren't giving the attention to always, right. always those things you're not giving the attention to. And it's those things that unfortunately too many of us let slide too often. It's about not, I mean, dude, we are miracle workers, but you're right. We can only focus on so much. You know what I mean? But we can do no, everything. I, I used to think, yeah. but I used to think I was a miracle worker, but I'm not. What I do is I try and help people find the miracle within them. See, and that's exactly right. Miracle. That's why we're miracle workers. Miracle workers. I see. I got lazy with my words. But it right is, uh, yeah, allowing or aiding that miracle to work. Allowing, yes, I, I totally agree with you. It's getting that subconscious, that whole. See, I was so quick to respond to that. I got lazy with working no you you i i get it um there's always a response because sorry about that i went to clear my screen and i ended up uh I ended up, that happens leaving the studio okay so i wanted to say this we're about, not professionals uh, y'all yeah, i wanted to say said, this about to, what, what we're talking so, about I try, this, is this is important for those of you out there to understand this okay that Everything that all the stuff that they're selling to you, this fear and everything, the reason they're doing that is these people who think they're in charge, these people who are the, the you know, the rich and the elites, they're the cabal, really whatever you want to call them, these people who think that they own us are scared to death that we will understand and remember <laughs> that they don't. Right. They that are is not why they're coming at you with fear because they are scared to death that you're going to remember that they are nothing and have no power over you whatsoever. That's right. right. And that That's is right. why they're doing what they're doing. That's why they have no, to control you. How easy do you need your life? Because I can make your yeah. life really easy. All you got to do is sign here. Yeah. You won't have to do it. Like I'll make you popular. I'll make you a yep. billionaire. Just sign here. Well, yeah. and I think that's what's what's happened with the uh, cult of personality, right? So mm -hmm. that whole, you know, I, and I will, I will give Bernie Sanders idolatry, a lot of credit because I think he did wake up a lot of people to certain idolatry. things that weren't being seen. However, there is a cult of personality in everything. Like I'm noticing just during this whole, what do we call this thing? Inversion, the, the, the C word, United, right? Um, we can right. call it a cunt, but because that's what it is, <laughs> it's cunt 19. And uh, anyway, right. <laughs> these cults of personalities, which is like you know, we can talk about the doctor, the great doctor, right? That the, the deity of Fauci, of medicine. I think that means the jaw, I think that means the jaw in Italian. And does anyone Italian. know about the anyway? Anyone, but it's falling from these cults of personality, the whatever bargain. they are. Go ahead. Has anyone ahead. read about the Faustian bargain? The Faustian bargain, yes. Yeah. yeah. Fauci, Fausto. Right. I don't know. Like seriously, when you start looking. Funny how that works. And some of them are just yeah. natural yeah. occurrences. Things, you start to see that nothing really is a coincidence. Oh well, that was. No, weird. Just, thank you, Norma. It was just this and nothing is a coincidence. But you know. Go ahead. Go ahead, Leo. Go ahead. No, no, I was, I was going to say what Norma was saying. She said it before I could say it. Nothing is a coincidence. So it sounds like a coincidence. Right. I don't believe in coincidence. coincidence. Yeah. yeah. Everything you know, because all those people that died from two shots to the back of the head, like two shots of a yeah. suicide. Back of the head. Right. Right. Or the guy, or the guy that, that guy that was a whistleblower yeah. that was working for the government drilling out the tunnels when he claimed that he saw aliens down there. And, oh, yeah. and he had a hand shot off and he hung himself. With oh, that TV guy, that guy, guy, dude. What was his right. name, dude? I he can't think of his name right dumbs, now. But right? Yeah, they killed him. They murdered him in Canada and said that he killed himself with rubber tubing yeah. by hanging himself from behind. You remember Gary <laughs> Webb, the one that blew the lid off the uh, uh, or, or the uh, um, Julian Assange drugs coming from him, right? Gary Webb, remember that reporter? Yeah, yep. he, he was found with two shots to the back of his head, too. He so killed he himself, killed himself once, but he got back up and killed himself again. <laughs> But we want, you know, it's just a coincidence that that happened. 
he was just, just like it's that, coincidence yeah. that a lot of assassinations happen at certain times. When well, yeah, certain think about the 60s, right? You got, you got yeah. right. Jack Kennedy, Bobby things. Kennedy, okay. Nelson, or not Nelson Mandela, but Stephen Biko, and then Nelson Mandela got arrested and went to jail. And you had Mahatma yeah. Gandhi. All these things happened in a very short time period in the in the world. Yes. Dude. Yeah, I, mean, I don't remember where I was talking about it, but I there was a, a cult. I mean, I guess they were a cult. Whatever. Oh, they, whatever. You could call them a cult because a, a cult just it's means like your leader didn't be die yet. <laughs> that's the only difference between cult and the religion. And that, right. that really is. That's how they define it. Your leader's alive and, they, and yeah, exactly. Right. Right. So, and it's not Christianity. So <laughs> these guys, uh, I can't remember the names. You guys probably know better than I do, but they moved into Oregon. And they were Hindis, I think, or something like a branch of that, right? They were the well, they moved in. They were, were they uh, no, they weren't Rosicrucians. No, so they moved into this town, small was that, town. Was that Rashti? Are you talking about Rashti? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, those guys. Yeah, like, if you listen to them, but they yeah. were totally ran out of that town because what they were doing is bringing positivity, yeah. and a lot of people didn't yeah. see that. They looked at it as some weird cult thing. There was no weird sexual things going on, but what they ended up doing yeah. is framing them for poisoning the local cafe or all these things because they were they basically because of their positive energy, not trying to dominate anything, just right. dominate. Just like they it, right? they didn't just they didn't even they weren't to trying to do that. Oh, I guess I and the man, what was his name? What was his name again? Sorry, Roshni. Roshni. He yeah. was poisoned. Yep. On a plane. From and I think it might have been his assistant that that you know kind of did him in, but she what he was help. doing was teaching the right thing. This is yeah, we can all flourish here. Like you don't have to be like me, but just flourish, find that vibration. Right. And it was, you know, like anything else, anything else that tries to stand up, <clears throat> they get they get demonized. But that's well, okay. That's the exact that's, truth. They, they do that to control everything, like you were saying. Right. Let me look at, okay, let's go back to Jesus, right? Let's yeah. go back to any leader who led, Muhammad, Muhammad and Gandhi, wherever in history. You look at these people, as soon as they try to change the narrative that they're right. trying to keep in that's line, right. then all of a sudden you become an enemy of the state and they need to get rid of you and they justify it now, how they want. Now think of how much power, how much, right, now think about how much power, more powerful it would be if we were all played that messiah role and we all stood stood together and created that without well, you know, letting somebody else tell us it's created. we just jumped in and we did it, do it anymore. right jesus said that the way to heaven is through me it's supposed to be easy from here on out go ahead bro what's up leo so jesus said the way to heaven is through me so you were just saying if we all take on that role of the savior character or the hero character meaning we start by acting like jesus told us to act Right. Then yeah. we're going, then we're, if we all do that, but we're not organized because as soon as you get organized, they go, look, there's too many of them. Get them. Yeah. Who's in charge. Yes. Get that one. Right. You That's why I tell people that I said, I'm look, I'm a Christian minister. I could have a church. I could invent right. one if I want. I have a license. You guys do too. Why do we not do that? Because as soon as you organize, they come get you and chop your head. Off. <laughs> yeah. If I'm the head, yeah. They're going to get me. So <laughs> the decentralization is actually a lot more powerful. I feel like. Look at, like because we're all we're all working as one with different experiences, different exactly. thoughts, different theologies, but we all know we all want to live here. We all want to enjoy our lives. We want to improve. We don't want to be forced to do anything that we don't want to do. Right. But and look now at that I'm we... seeing that the whole this whole cunt word coming out, right? I can say this. Look watch, at, I will not get blocked. We will not get blocked for saying "see you, you next mentioned. Tuesday." But, we have a bigger reach today. Think about this: if Jesus were alive right now, think of the reach he'd have worldwide. He can think reach how far. Oh, yeah, you have to go for that exactly. <laughs> right. So we have a better congregation by doing this and putting it out there for people to hear. Yep. And you guys, oh, then I got I got forty seven followers. The oh church God. that I went to had like two hundred and fifty people in it. So yeah, I'm I'm a little fur further away from the church and. I get no contributions, but that's a whole nother story. Oh, I don't either, but my voice is out there. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, I'll keep walking the path and talking the talk and walking the walk until I can't, until they cancel me from everything. And then I'll still do it on a smaller level. I'll start doing yeah. right. engagements, I whatever I have to do. Three years ago. Yeah. Like there's certain avenues I can't even make money on. Dude, I'm right. a civil celebrant, right? I can marry you. Watch the light. Right. You're in my area. I can marry you cheap. Yep. I, I, you want this kind of dude? I'm a fairly good writer, and if you're right here, tell me what you want for your ceremony. 
dude, you're going to have a fucking ceremony, right? Right. And yet, and yet, mm -hmm. every three, six months, I mean, I get all those little tag things because I am on Google. <laughs> right. <laughs> they don't show everything I post, but I'm up there. I've been approved, done all the right things. And yet, and that's why I say it, it really is. You got to be willing to do you no matter what you are. And look, I am willing to say I'm in Utah. There's only been that many connecting to me. Because two of them were from out of staters. All right. Right. <laughs> I'll say it. I got it. However, really being able to do you, be you, sell you, have you, no matter what you're doing, and understanding you have no less value because the dollars aren't rolling in. Right. Right. Understanding that the work you put into whatever you are doing, no matter how long it takes you, it is coming back. That energy always comes back. So maybe you're not making dollars, but you got a roof over your head and you ain't right. starving. Well, and the, the, biggest thing that we have the biggest thing that we do, <clears throat> all of us do this, is our lack of self-confidence. We yes. are our worst critic. Yes. We're going, is, is what I'm doing right? No, because everybody's already doing it. And you said that's your ego telling you to fail. Right. And then what but the, see, the beauty is, is when you communicate with other people and you talk to them and then somebody says to you, wow, man, I love listening to your stuff. You're, you're really good at what you do. And then you think, what, really? What did I do that that person really liked? Well, it was because you were being authentic Which, and you're being you. Right. You we're trying right. to tell them something they didn't want or need. And so because I, of that, they see the truth in you and they know that you're creating or that you're talking from your heart and you're, and you're being honest and open and trying to help. And well, if you didn't yeah. have any of those, our, our senses, even though people don't think they have them, go, that guy doesn't seem like he's telling me the truth, right? Here's an example. Right, right. I have a full beard hmm. and mustache. And in the United States right. of America, if you're going to be a politician, you can't have any facial hair because they Which think, weird. They think that they wear another fucking hat. Up, here, well. up yeah, here. I, I, Fear the beard like because I'm not lying to you. I'm hiding. Dude, Abraham Lincoln had a beard, bro. Right? Right? But you see, in, in the politics today, that's why you don't see any politician. The only time you see them with a beard and mustache is on the latter part of their career when they're about to retire. Because now they don't give a shit anymore. They're not trying to get reelected. Yeah, hold on. I got to stop you because Miguel's been too fucking been quiet. quiet and he's he's, that scares right me. Look at him. He's like been he's listening. He's been, he's been listening, listening and that scares me because when he listens, he's he gets jump more in here, deadly. right? <laughs> no, it's just uh, I I feel like I'm in the middle of one of those women's bridge clubs and, and I just didn't do that shit. Wait, what bridge club? What are you talking about? He's talking about the way we're all talking, I guess. And, and we're are we, all are we, like a, are we a sewing circle right now, dude? Norma, Norma knows Did you really exactly. call me a sewing? Like, I'm part of a sewing circle right now? Yes, y'all are. Oh, okay. We're just knitting and, and doing things. It's oh, so my fucking God. cute. Okay, well, what do you got to say? Then? Bring your masculine energy oh, in here if you feel like you need to balance it. <laughs> the punditry and, and the poetry are the things that is known for hundreds of years. He's, oh, yeah, he's just jealous because he doesn't know how to knit poetry. He doesn't know how to knit. And that's why he's just jealous, guys. He's, yeah, he's that's the problem, going. Steve. Hey man, that's you know what? Someday is, when you really and when you really want to join the Skull Island <laughs> knitting circle, dude, you just let us know and we'll teach you a little bit. Because you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I, know how to do, I know how to do. You does, know, does macrame count? Techniques. Knit I actually, I actually stole a uh, 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 carpet. I actually, actually, I have this this knitting uh, carpet of Mickey Mouse. That I had that I made when I was six years old, and it is it, I used it for both my sons, so uh, and it's still there. So yeah, I did that. Where is it, dude? Do you have it? Do you have it? Where you at? Anything from my childhood. Do you have it by you? Like, go get that shit. Really I want to see it, bro. Like, <laughs> it, I'll bring it to next uh, episode. All right, next oh, time, next week. Yes, that'd be uh, awesome. And, and it's, Miguel, it's a big this, fucking circle with Mickey Mouse in the middle of it. <laughs> Here's all you need to know. This is what my grandmother taught me: knit one, purl two. 
No, no um, but you know, the <laughs> ending point, you know, how do you end it, tie it off, and then go to the next row? There was there was things yeah. that I don't know. And that was always a problem for me too. Big, I'll be honest with you. Weaving the fabric of life. Aren't we doing that right now? We're changing the name, y'all. See what we're doing yeah. right now? Yep. It is what it is. We are changing the game. And it, it those ripples, those small ripples that you throw a little yeah. tiny pebble into the water, guess right. what it does? It fucking goes. And that's what we're doing. Uh, do you right. think yes. that, that so I had a problem from the very beginning? Is not your purpose today, even if it seems exactly the right. same. Let, let my, Miguel talk, dude. Sorry. We've been butting him out a lot lately. I'm sorry. Norma's fucking it's up on her sofa. Circle. Hey, I, you know what? I I'm feel better because it's Norma's day today. She's the one doing all the talking. It's, I'm not. And, and she's right. hogging. I'm okay. That's okay. Normally that's people okay. are like, Leo, shut up. No, it is okay. You should talk but more. Leo, it's not Norma. It's what women do because when I'm sitting here and my got mother-in-law and cousins and aunts and everything else, Turkey's nobody got gets in the goddamn oh, word. That's the they got four fucking to... conversations going on at the same time. I want to pay attention to all of them because I absorb everything, but Fucking look, at him, look at him, look at him. Nobody I can see you have a lot of feminine energy around you right anybody now. Anybody fucking else because they got to have their own fucking voice heard. <laughs> you should be yep. around my family. We, we yeah. actually have four and five yeah, conversations at the exact That's time. why I go outside the fucking smoke. <laughs> I want you to talk so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Arr. Yeah, Arr, Arr, right? ladies. Uh, Jimmy Jimmy's mates. Yeah. Totally. No, I think we're all no, what's going on? You all are watching like three of us like go through a kind of a nervous breakdown to realize each other's fucking understandings of things. Like (laughs) really, we are. We're all going through this place of like we're learning to meld together, and that's what we need to do. That's how unity works. We don't have I don't have to meld with the guy I don't fucking like to meld with. I want that or the person I have to meld with. I'm gonna meld with the people. I fucking meld with her. I want to meld with. All right, I'm right? just knitting over here, Miguel. Uh, just, Bring just, your voice back in. just hold on. You are I forgot that I muted myself. I'm fucking knitting you a sweater right now. It's I gonna have Santa me. Claus on it. <laughs> I'm gonna knit him a little violin that he can play for himself. <laughs> 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 funny, but. I mean, the the truth is uh, in that there is some truth to that, that we do have, you know, sometimes people get together and it just turns into a bitch session and everyone's going, do you see that guy? It's not. It's guy fun. I can't believe he drives, drives like that. And, but sometimes that's all you have in common to talk to people about, right? And right. so the yeah. girls meet knowing that they're going to be talking about stuff like that. And I agree right. with Miguel. I used to hate that when that would happen because I'm like, oh, here they go. They're in the, the little cackling hand no, session. Miguel, Miguel's in yeah. this whether he wants to be it or not, dude. You have to be jumped out, bro. I swear to God. Right, right. Find you, dude. You don't, you don't get to hear our talk about other shit. Part of the fucking gang. Not many I'm, lives ago, this man was my brother. I that's get how right. he works. Hey, y'all did my, my logo. Connected. I ain't saying shit, which is why I'm muted, because I'll let y'all fucking talk. I got no problem. You want my opinion? <laughs> Ask me. Why? Because one of the greatest things about a hunting trip is so you go with your friends and you can't make a fucking sound because otherwise the prey will hear you. <laughs> yeah, but we're live right now. We got to make a sound. I, I I I get that, but see that that's the male oh, personality is- versus the female. Right. Uh, I don't know if you guys have read Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, or there yeah. was another version that was a feminine version, which yeah, was I remember that. Make love. There was a version before that, and I still haven't found it yet. Yeah. Both of those both those two books are talking about the anthropological pro- genetic programming of human tendencies and culture as we see them. And yeah. so we have right. those normal stereotypes of, of what women do, and they have 50,000 words they have to have per day, and men have 20,000 words they have to spew yeah. out per day in order to feel normal or whatever, depending on their different activities and everything else that they, that they did. As women were more social and they had to build social interactions, they had to communicate more. They had to be able to get those ideas across because they had two women taking care of 20 kids kids so the other three women could cook for the rest of the family while three other women were looking outside the cave trying to find the colors yeah. that differentiated the lion or, or tiger that was going to come into the cave and so all of those abilities were perfected for those who had to take care of yes. the home and i understand that and i respect that however Seriously, there's like y'all don't fucking thing. get us no, that's the whole goddamn no. problem but yes now normal please go no it's the littlest thing that will bring me to my oh my god i don't know Wait, so hang on. They said that they wanted and they hang on. What 
which is why I asked you directly and I got directly. And I feel like we're very closely connected. I shit you not. That was not I, many lives I, ago. We were like siblings. I, 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 I try and be, you, you were probably my sister that I beat up all the time. Cause yes, <laughs> I feel that too. I, guess, I guess feel that too. Know. I do. I do. Um, anyway. <laughs> all right. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. I, 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 this is yeah. going to sound really cheesy and over said, but, or what's, what's the word? Cliche. Why is it always got to be when it's a cool word like that explain? It's always got to be a French fucking word, dude. Anyway, is the French are fucking yeah. cool. What are yeah, you? What are y'all signs? What are y'all right? uh, astrological Greek, signs? Greek, Latin, or French always. Go ahead. Yeah, it's always that. Yes, yeah. it always comes from that. I'll so, turn. Leo, what's your sign, bro? Uh, I'm a Virgo. Virgo, what's fucking your Virgos. Sign? What's that? What's your, what's your rising, rising sign? sign? What's my rising sign? Yeah. He doesn't know. Um, I think it is. Um, I, I think it's Leo. I think, it, but I, don't, don't quote me. And All right, we'll find. We'll find it out. What is your moon? Anyway, and my anyway. birthday is the tenth oh, of on. September, so I'm right in the middle of, of September. All right. So what is your what is your main you what they call it a sun day. sign? Hold on a second. Yeah, the main, my main sun sign is Virgo. I'm a dead Virgo. Set, September tenth. What else we got here? Miguel. So you got Leo on one side. Miguel. I am a Pisces rising in Aquarius. Oh, and fuck! Am, Pisces, Pisces Aquarius, dude. Ass, well, You're I, cooler than I am, dude. You're smooth. Wait, I'm a Pisces, dude. I'm a Pisces like four you times. Pisces. I'm like quadruple Pisces, but you have to go down the list a little while. Like if you knew astro astrology, because we have to talk about astrology. Because I've tagged the fucking, I've tagged podcast and discussions, and then I tagged astrology and psychic because that's what I am. I mean, fuck that. When I made the page. So anyway, so ask no, this is I'm awesome. Listening. Now that I know that, dude, you've let me know all your secrets. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but I like I like this. His fucking his fucking um, oh, Aquarius okay. speaks louder than his yes, Pisces. He, he pours that water it, on, baby. He's anyway, I think you are fucking I think I think you know. Leonard's fucking Leo. He's uh wait, he's uh Taurus. He's got Taurus in the sign too. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I believe so. I believe that I do that yeah. because of the earth, because I have like triple earth. I know that. No. That's why She's I get the fire, 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 dude. No. Is, is, no. I'm no. Earth, no. earth, 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 earth. Right. Hey, Aaron, she she it out. So, and what is so, 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 Hold on. Let's right? I'll talk it like different. So times. I'm earth, about that? right? I'm earth, 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 right? And and Miguel is water, 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 right? <laughs> right. So and you said water, 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 dude. And you're water, fire. water. No, Miguel. Air. Miguel is water, air, dude. Water, air. So we have everything covered. It creates we have tidal air, water, waves. fire, everything. I am fire rising. I am fire sun, and I am air moon. Libra. So moon. like, yeah, fire, fire, I'm air. Earth, what, what, is, what does what does air do to fire, dude? Really, I want right. I want feeds it. Ultimately. Air feeds I'm fire. Absolutely. absolutely. And she's telling me she wants peace. Come on. Uh, sure. <laughs> anyway, I am still no. I just had to know that. I mean, we can go back to what we were talking about, but. Oh, um, Alice is water and earth. Uh, what, what Chinese? I'm I'm a wood rat in Chinese zodiac. I'm a snake. I'm a rabbit. Wow. Really? I cool. think. Um, what am I? I think I'm. Uh, Find it, bro. I I don't know. I, I would have to look it up. Find it, Chinese oh, zodiac. We got so time, cool. dude. We're on a long I podcast. Used to, I actually used to know. Yeah, I know. Look it up, cool. And the owl will eat that snake, bitch. Allison, yes. Allison already came out with the drag. Allison knows her shit. Allison Howard, I love you. You're fucking awesome. And everybody else is watching. Yes, Denise, Julie, Joni, Melissa, all of you. Thank you for following. Please share this out because we're just growing this channel right now. Is, we don't even know what the fuck we're doing. We just named something and jumped on a live. Aaron, if I was born in 1967, what is that? Hold on, hold on. As well? 1967. That? Is, that, is that the rat? No, I'm 72. Oh. Seven, Let me double check. Chinese. Did you look it up? I know that they reaffirmed it. Right now, hold on. Let me see. So what is six? What is 1967? What is that year of for the Chinese calendar? Yeah, I'm looking Chinese it up. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Carl or Miguel's got it. Why do I want I'm to keep calling Carl you? Right I think I knew you were the uh, Carlos. 1967. Once, yeah, 67. Last name. Back you said the same last name. 86. Uh, 81 is the earliest year that I got, and it goes in cycles of 12 because it's or okay, hold on. Years. I'm looking it up too. Years. So 67 would be 79. Goat. goat. All right. I just looked it up. 1967 is year of the goat. All right. That makes sense. 
You're the goat. Yeah. Holy shit. All right. That makes wow. sense. No, wow. You're the goat, bro. I've been, I'm, the, yeah, I'm the goat, bro. Yo, he, Greatest he, of all time, bro. <laughs> give, him yeah. some, give him some cans. He'll be eating them all. the fucking goat. That's why we're still here right now. We've known what to do, right? man. We've all been we've all been here in some other form before. Bitching about shit and talking shit to each other. <laughs> not, not bitching about shit because bitching doesn't do a damn thing. Right. Fixing shit, getting right. shit right. done, solutions, getting getting solutions. And building things and making yeah. life better. Fuck the okay, system. Fuck everybody else. We build our own shit because we know what. The share world. it, bro. Share it on the screen. Yeah. So the goat. I'm on the other monitor. So I have share to it. Let's, let's go. No, find out what the goat is. And then I share. Have, oh, you have no. You have the phone. You have the phone, my, right? I'm running the podcast on my phone, and I'm on the other computer. So yeah, I you can can't do that. Yeah. All right. So, goat. It says uh, the uh, eighth of the twelfth year cycle of animals, which appears in the Chinese zodiac related to the Chinese calendar. The traditional Chinese culture goat zodiac sign means luck. This zodiac sign is often referred to as the ram or the sheep sign. And I see. I was going to say sheep. But I, but I also got in RAM in my head and went, well, that's not the same. I better look it up. So yeah, I did know what it Congratulations. Right? It says, uh, people who are. Yeah, as I see it, you have a little bit of RAM, you have a little bit of bull, and you have a little bit of. Uh, let him I think you do have some fire, like the, Leo energy. Let him, let him finish that's with the definition. Your name is fucking yeah, right. so it's like the, the people who are GOAT are well mannered, right? And then, and so, oh, and sympathetic to others. Well, I guess I am sort of, right? I mean, to individuals. Nah, so I you are you know, not that ass. fucking nice. You know what? I talk to you in the fucking background and you're always an asshole. You always hurt my feelings, man. No, Leo is fucking great guy, dude. He is, he is very like Santa Claus. Claus. Look at him. Kids cry. You're always I mean, making me do what I want to do. You ain't fucking getting it. Fuck off. Yes, I'm the snake. I'm the owl. This I is what I envisioned the pirate podcast to be, dude, right here. Exactly what we're like doing. Having today. fun, right. letting right. loose, but no having the knowledge That's and talking cool. about it. Yeah. Philosophy. Yeah. All right. So uh, Leo, finish explaining the goat. We're gonna invite other people on it. If you guys want to be on it, you know how to do it. Like, you know how to do it. Because the the people that are the goat are very delicate, have have very delicate thoughts, strong creativity, and the presence of uh, a presence and uh, acquired professional skills well. You probably Good. found the now same one. Rat. You find I the first one on there, right? You rat? Okay. Hold on. You're in 19... Oh, right? it doesn't go back that far. It doesn't go back to 19... That was the early 1900s, bro. Uh, 19... Why do they call it the late rat? No, I, I already did that, babe. Actually, 1971, they have listed here as the pig, not the rat. Okay. Hold on, we're going to go down. So, no, no. 72 is the rat. Peter hey, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna look, hold on. I'm the rat. I'm 72. I'm you are the rat. rat. Okay, okay, so hold on. All right, so Peter I got the rat. Is, Peter is the pig because Peter put oh, okay, okay. Of 20, uh, 71. Hold on, I'm gonna read the rat right now. Okay, okay, there you go, bro. It's Chinese, so I think it might be propaganda, y'all. <laughs> <Just, laughs> <laughs> yeah, might be driven by this was before, this was Oh my days. god, this we're we're supposed to be afraid of Russia and China. Like, how long have we been living with that dumb shit? Like, really? Yeah, but see, Aaron, I love y'all in China. I love y'all in uh, Russia. Whole, you know right? what? I don't like your governments. Yeah. Like, I don't like mine. <clears throat> All right, read the right. Recent years of the rat include 2023 or 32. 2020. Okay, that's yeah, 1972, right? That was your that yep. was your yep. yeah. Okay, so in okay, I'm gonna share this, dude. Let me sh share this. Go on ahead. The screen. You like to see it? We're gonna look over all of ours dude, right now. It's amazing. Yep. When you that's the focus. I think, I think that's that's yeah. Why not? Right? I agree with that. I think we should. But and I then we can even do some of the other ones, like Allison said, that she's the dragon. We can pop up after we do us. Do My dad Alice. is the dragon, and the dragon is fucking impressive. The Chinese yeah. wait. Are y'all see it now? Children on the year of the dragon. No, it's not popping up for me to put up on the screen, brother. Give yeah, me a second. I had the same no problem too, Leo. Hold on. What's that? I had the same problem What's too when I popping to yesterday. Yeah, I shared. Yeah, something. You know, when you're trying to share it, how are you trying I to share it? it. No. Um, okay. You know, Hold on. Wait a minute. Now I'm seeing it. Stop screen. Because it was already on there. <laughs> it was oh, there and then it okay, just hold on, hold on. I'm going to do it yeah, again. Yeah, you had it. 
I'm yeah, going to do it again. Hold on. Yeah. It's like I okay, told you. It works. Really See, our own yeah, ass totally fucking yeah. generate people. Like, we're all Gen X, right? Except, I think Leo might not be. No, He's I'm Gen, Gen X. Gen Z. No, wait, 64. You were 67, right? He's in the I'm 67. I'm Gen no, he's Gen X. No, he's Gen X. Yeah. We, we, we uh, jumped I don't know, but I'm just slacking. Because we're fucking so, we're so fucking used to, like, jumping on the defense. Right. Yeah, it was up for a minute, bro. Right. I mean, sure, but it's not there now. Oh, here it comes. Here okay, it comes. give it a second. Give it a second. Keep talking. Yeah, don't do no it, dead air. Don't, to... don't worry. Don't take do it a little minute. Aaron. That's what I was saying. Got it. There we go. All righty. Good. Two is the year of the rat, and it belongs to water. A water rat. Whoa, dude. You swim, dude. On Actually, I'm a wood the rat. Whoa, seriously. Of Chinese. Uh, go back up. I, I want to see I'm, where it's Chinese it's elementals. So, people born in 1972 are the year of the rat, but the element of water. So, you are rat and you are water. No, right? I'm, so, like, I'm I am a wood, fire I'm, I'm actually snake. a wood rat. Sorry, see? I'm a wood I'm rat. Mistaken. I'm a wood rat. So you're see, a wood there rat. you go. All right, all right. Independent, um, self confident, mm -hmm. virtuous, and talented yep. with a strong sense of teamwork. That's a good balance. <laughs> Melissa says, you guys are old he's compared to me. Rat. I would say. <laughs> he's a water rat, though. Read him water rat. No, who's a water rat? Orion Rising. Oh, so he's a water rat. Like, he, yes. he tried to perpetrate as a wood rat. No, he, no. He's, right. uh, he's a goat. He already said it. No, I'm I'm the goat. Yeah. Okay. Shrewd, conservative, and wise. Okay, yeah. that, that sounds... That sounds That's more me, like you, a rat. water rat. Shrewd, yeah, conservative, and wise. Yeah, you're talking shrewd, conservative, and wise. Yeah, that's that. That me. Yeah, I can see that. Now, who am I reading right now? Because 1972 is the year of the water rat. All right, yeah. so we're gonna find. I want water. No, we're finding. We're finding the goat. Goat. The goat. Oh, the yeah, greatest yeah. of all yeah, time. What's your year though, so I can know your element. Hold on, ladies. we're gonna we're gonna type it in right here. We're gonna put it in. 19. What's your September birthday, bro? 10, Leo. September. So September normal, you're telling me I'm not wood, I'm water. So I've been wrong all these years. Hold on, we'll find it out here yes, in a second. Hold on. 1967. Well, September 10. I'm curious yeah, he's now. He's a Gen X. He's Gen X. 64. 1967. Okay. Sheep in Chinese zodiac. Hold on. Sign. Hold on. I'm finding it. I'm. We gotta follow what we're sharing, babe. We don't confuse them. Yeah, yeah. Don't deviate and start talking about others. We're, we're trying to share this. Yeah, everybody's gonna be going. I don't know what they're showing, but it's not what they're saying. <laughs> hey, how about that Cowboys oh, game man. last weekend? It was fucking awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> that actually was a pretty good game, brother. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't watch it. I haven't watched football in two years. Oh, uh, it was actually a pretty good game. Rats are quick-witted, resourceful, and smart, but lack courage. But we are with rich yeah, imaginations sure. and sharp observations, they can take advantage of various opportunities well. In Chinese culture, rats represent working diligently. And if I said Chinese, dude, to all you uh, program people and you think I'm like some Chinese spy, I'm not, dude. I'm just, I said Chinese. I just Whatever, said it's a Chinese. Uh, you know, you know I'm, Chinese. I got to throw that in because right. we're pirates. We don't, we don't belong to any country. We belong right. to... So, so wait a minute. What are you reading? Because I'm, I'm not a rat. I'm the goat. I'm reading bro. your zodiac, bro. Hold on, hold on. I'm reading mine. No. Oh, okay. I am the rat. Yes. I typed in Leo right here. No. This is Leo's. No, you. No. I know, but I'm, but I'm. According to this, I'm not. September I'm not a rat, 10th, 1967. Yeah. He is the goat. Yeah, you like are a goat. goat. Yes, you are a goat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why are the rat but states still, coming up? Because you were still on the rat before. You didn't actually click go. No, but that. I just changed it. Go up. Yes. Click the red button. So go up and go to the goat. Okay. 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 Find your zodiac sign That's right there. not letting me do that, though. Find your zodiac sign. I did that already. Hold on. Y'all yeah, bear with us. Are you having fun? I mean, come on. We're having fun. We're just bullshitting. <laughs> like we're sitting around the table just fucking talking. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Hey, no, we're knitting, man. We're knitting. Maybe For some reason, it's not showing the goat. Okay, so refresh your page and then re-put in the date. 
your pages be difficult. All right, keep say. talking here. Come on. Right? You guys can talk. Yeah, somebody Bill, everybody's always wanting to talk Just about talk. something. <laughs> yeah, right. you're waiting on this fucking Chinese Zodiac. <laughs> right. hey, the Chinese Zodiac is fucking propaganda. They're trying to infiltrate from within. Don't yeah, listen exactly. to Chinese hold propaganda. Hold Do not <laughs> listen to it. Resist <laughs> <on>. <laughs> 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 the Chinese, the Chinese so dumb, culture is Don't no fall for that dumb shit. If you, okay, we're going September 10th. Right before the 11th, dude. Oh, my, my God. Your birthday is way too close to the 11th, bro. Yeah, right. The 9-11 was the day after. Bad fucking mojo. God damn, dude. Yeah. That's a weird. It wasn't on the 11th, though, so thank God. 67, right? Right. 67. Okay. Okay. okay, you're still sharing the page, right? Because I'm just mm-hmm. scrolling. I don't even know what the fucking camera's doing. I know. As no, usual, we're probably so like in our beds fucking having sex or jacking off. And they can see us, and they're like, "Oh, log that, log that." <laughs> no, that would be CNN. <laughs> that would be CNN. Yeah, that's. I mean, above CNN, dude. Let's talk about okay, so the NSA, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're, how about the CIA? Oh, rat, so rat dates. Why is it still showing oh, rat dates? I don't know, man. Maybe I'm a know, dirty rat thing, and I don't know it. <laughs> no, it's your lucky rat flowers rat are uh, carnations and primroses, bro. Primroses, you like carnations? So now, a white sport coat and a pink mm-hmm. carnation. Remember that the song? Fuck? Okay, so we got to Marty go Robbins, man. Go down till you find goat. Down. Oh, we gotta go down till we find goat. Mm-hmm. Is that what we're doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not goat, goat, still you rats, babe. You've got to miss you have to, like track everything you're doing. All right, keep talking. We're we're not. We're still no. Down I'm not. All right, unshare that page. It's dumb. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. And it's showing me your shit. All right. Yeah, I don't like that. Stop screen. I got it. Anyway, I'm a rabbit. You're a goat, dude. <laughs> when you say good. goat, dude, every time I think about that, because it's been you're placed rat. into our you mind, all of greatest of all time. Like, I got to think critters, Dave Chappelle. As far as comedians, I think you know what my one of my favorite comedic comedic actors is and writers. Come on, if you guys don't fucking agree, Mel Brooks. Probably. Mel Brooks. What do you think about Mel Brooks? Not really. Oh my god. Admitted. He's a he's, Mel Brooks and, and Monty Python's Monty Python runs a like a close second. I approve Monty Python. Those guys from Monty Python. Oh yeah. Willing to ignore their mental dis not ignore. I don't want to put ignore. That doesn't put as much pressure onto their disability because I didn't do a lot of TV, right? I don't feel like I didn't I was so in myself, and I know this sounds bad, and whatever, I hear it how you will. I was so into myself and what's happening in my life and how I was feeling what was going on and how I needed to be me, which yes, I'm attention whore, guys. I like attention. I didn't notice that. It has to be. He did good. I like you. Like, whatever. I'm an attention whore. I'm a Sagittarius Leo rising. Okay? Sagittarians like to travel around and get attention. Leos need to be the star of it. So, anyway. point. Okay, is, she's getting grips with her. Yes. Anyway, my point is, though. Is she's that- Lucille Ball, dude. And I'm fucking Ricky. <laughs> That's what I feel like right now. I feel like Ricky... And she's like, um, and Ricky, yeah, you, you ever let me in your No, yeah, you I got some in the green room, and he's a butthead about that. Anyway, <laughs> my point is, is you see that <laughs> it's knowing who and what you are, how you work, how you function, and truly. And I feel like because of certain things I went through in my life that brought me simply to me, that may have caused some issue throughout my growth. Where'd he go in the long run? It was so I just accidentally, I tried to click down. on the shit. Well, I tried to click yeah, on well, the... Uh, he'll come back. He'll come he'll back. I, d- I dumped him. Hopefully he'll come back. I tried to click on the picture that you had up your screen share to kick it. And I clicked on it and said, kick it. And it kicked Miguel. That's because I already kicked okay. it out. That's why you probably thought I, it was... I didn't realize that. Oh, Sorry about that. The point is, is that really, we all... I'm sorry, Miguel, I tried to get rid of the screen share that he had up there, and he'd already cleared it, and I clicked on it, and then said, kick it, and he cleared it just before I did, and I didn't know it. When I clicked, I clicked on you and said, kick you instead, because it disappeared. I, I didn't know I, it, so. 
Sorry, buddy. I didn't want to stop. No problem. Uh, but I brought it up again. If you want to try it again or not, it's up to you. Um, I brought it up I was, I was uh, sharing the screen for the rabbit. Uh, and ah. I was able to get the definitions because you just have to click on the symbol underneath yes, the right. date of the the actual animal that you oh, are. I do a lot of study, but I share a lot of like, and here's what I mean by that. It can get very mundane in your life, right? For me to do everything that I actually do in a day, I cannot do it all myself. There's no fucking way. You never can. So my morning message from the universe, so long as it resonates, and most days it usually does, I share um, healing energy tools. They, they do a beautiful message every morning. And I have been known for that message to be shared every morning for the past like five years, right? Good I message. do attach them. It's not my thing. I, I leave a link to them. I don't try to take anyone to anything, right? Right. Yeah. Um, while also promoting the fact that I do this thing. But I can't do it all. I have to share other people. There's this just, yes, I want to learn it all. I want to know as much as I can. But if I actually felt the pressure to do everything that I was actually, I mean, and I just mean 3D in charge of every day. And trust me, because one time I did, and I have issues, dude, I, I've got issues that I'm working through I'm healing. Okay. Some of them I was born with scoliosis. That's going to be a lifetime thing I'm working through, but I don't use a lot. I, I, I work through my imbalances, understanding that these are things that I've shown myself I need to deal with. Right. Yep. So. Right. My back is crooked in what areas? What chakras are affected? Where is it I've told myself I have to focus? With it, chakras or energy points or whatever it is, however you want to look at it, we have to understand that our physical bodies are both the magic and the vessel, right? So yes, you can neglect the vessel all you want because it's just the vessel in which you're working through you're right fuck it however should you nurture it and love it and tend to it and actually care for your fucking vessel should you give some care to the livelihood in which you are living right now not just the things you're gaining not just things you're getting not just dreams coming you know it's sold in many different avenues if you can find the value in yourself Period. Because trust me, I haven't made a dollar in like, I don't know, eight months. <laughs> and I think I only make a little bit of money every three. <laughs> I'm being a little too honest. The point is, I sell you the things I believe in. I'm not here to convince you that that's what you need to buy. I'm not here to convince you that I know everything. I'm not even saying right. that the fucking drugstore down the street's got it cheaper. Okay, whatever. However, I'm saying this is what I have to offer. And whatever you're getting from me, you're getting from me, my personality, my being, my energy, my belief system, my faith, whatever it might be. I got to get better at selling that because I'm really not making it online. But like, And this is why it upsets me when I do do my lives, when I'm doing my cards or I'm doing my things. Yeah, I'm fucking charging you, bitch. Do you know how much time I get to myself to actually give to you right now? Do you know what it took for me to find this space within myself to go, I have space to give to others? Like, there's a lot of shit going on in my life right now. Why do you think I love TikTok right now? I mean, it's beyond the life path change that likes to just do things, okay? That's changing things. But it's it's the whole escaping but not escaping, right? I'm right here within my life. But I can put the humor in it. I can put the distraction here where mm, I'm not actually distracted. I'm fully paying attention. But I'm going to shift my perception. To, this is really fucking funny right now. I do still feel the pressure. You're right. But you know what? This is fucking funny. And I'll remind myself, this is fucking funny. Until it finally lightens enough, lightens up enough to be funny. Right? 
Well, see, because that's I why understand that this thing is, is feeding this thing, and I got to work from both areas. And no, I am... hold, hold on, Norma. Sorry. Hold on, Norma. Yeah. See, that's one of the reasons that I liked uh, Robin Williams, uh, because he allowed me to get away from yes. the normality of life. Yes. However, we get lost in that. And, and that's we get exactly. lost in the middle of their pain. And what happens yeah. is that we end up not focusing on things that we need to do to actually make our life less painful. So instead of understanding that he just triggered something in me that made me feel so good because he got me. We're going, I'm going to escape in the fact that he got me. We, we I'm all, not the only one feeling it, so I don't have we to feel all it right are, now, we're, right? All, we're all trying to fucking escape, Norman. That's the whole guy. Yes, yes, I totally agree, <laughs> dude. That's the perfect totally agree. Side. But see, one of the things that, that bothered me, that because I wanted to make this point about an hour and a half ago, um, was a, <laughs> a, a mushroom trip that I had back when I was 17. But mm -hmm. God spoke to me in a certain way that explained absolutely everything. Um, because I have horrible allergies and I used to mow the lawn since I was seven years old mm -hmm. and my eyes would get swollen, puffy shut and my nose oh, would be red and, and it would, the horror, I would go out there with the goggles and the mask to make sure that I couldn't get all that stuff. And, right. and it was just, I hated mowing the lawn, but I was in the middle of the, of this vision of, of hell and the chains that separate us from that globe that is the heaven that we await are our sins, the things that we hurt other people doing, right? Now, the things that take us away from that perception. I don't like to say and sins, but yes, our decisions. Whatever, trigger, whatever right. fucking word you yes. want to choose, choose whatever goddamn yes. word you choose. Those the way you hurt to, another fucking no human being, negative goddamn right. resonance, choose yep. whatever the fuck you want. Yep. Right. However, yep. at one point, a hand came down from that land of wanting that we so desire and brought me up there. And he took me into this little square that allowed me to see a vision of what right. would be that which awaits us. And what was my vision? A motherfucker mowing his goddamn lawn. How the fuck am I supposed to enjoy a motherfucker mowing his lawn? when That's one of the things that I hate the most. Right. When the answer that he told me at that moment was, you don't understand. He wants to mow his lawn. He yes. likes mowing his lawn. He, he wants his lawn, lawn to look a certain mowing. way. And therefore. He enjoys the smell. See, that's yes. his heaven. That's what he likes to do. And the thing was that that also made me, for example, I went out and I chopped fucking underbrush uh, 200 square feet of underbrush. Uh, Which is afternoon. terrible, I'm sure. Yeah. It's magical and beautiful, yeah, right? Like motherfucker, I got tired as a fuck, but I did it for one reason, because I have a bigger project in mind. Boom. I did it with gusto. I did it because I yes. to. I did it because I knew that it was something next in the step towards my project yes. that I want to complete. So I did Anything it. Anything you're doing that you don't doing like. It out of necessity. When we do yes. things out of need, oh, I got to well, go to work this morning. But you if you're going to do that, you should be doing that for a bigger purpose, right? You can see that bigger purpose. You can see the reasoning. I'm not just fulfilling this fucking multimillionaire's fucking exactly. like multi-avenue thing for me to barely get life. by and like whatever. There are reasons in which, I mean, dude, Okay, I'm sorry. The realm we're living in, I don't care what you want to call it. I don't care what density you want to feel like it is. It's a pretty heavy one. It is. And in this realm, you have to give up something for something. Okay? No, you don't. I no, have to don't. find, no, look, I have to find the easy in the long road. Because in easy, I'm giving up some of my power to someone else. Okay? So, yes, always. For something to become easier or simpler in the way the majority, at least, of us see it in this world. You are giving up something to gain something. Understanding that taking the long road or it taking an extra five minutes or it being that little extra bit. But willing to wake yourself or get yourself to that place that gives you that extra bit, right, without the stress. Many people have a hard time these days finding their balance in their structure. Okay. That's basically what I'm saying right now. Yes. Um, I know it would be much easier for me to wake up 
at minimally 20 minutes before anyone in the house so I can get my restroom, I can get my cigarette, and I can start my coffee. Okay. Oh. Then when I'm dealing with life and life is coming at me, I got it because my needs are on, on the way, right? At least. I mean, sometimes even gratefully, like, met. <laughs> oh, right? Well, and so, but it, it and, and that's what I'm saying is, is it's not necessarily looking at it as a loss or a give up for a gain, but that is exactly what it is. We are in a world of balance. I need my dark side. I need that shit from the earth. I need that primal instinct. I need to understand where I am living right now, whether I come from here or not, right? I need to understand the earth. But I also need to understand my spirit, my goal, my purpose, my ultimate. And, 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 and that's why I say, and I have said for many years, is we are all children growing. It doesn't matter what phase of life you're in right now. Be in that phase, yes. But understand, it is a phase. And no matter what phase you are, you are still growing and you're still learning and you're still gaining and you're still getting right. Yep. Like it's not going to happen perfect all the time. Thank God. When we are living in gratitude, we get to look back on it and go, fuck yeah, that fucking worked out. But realistically as humans, we can know that sucked. <laughs> Well, see, you know, you know? The, the biggest thing we have to realize is uh, here again, this is where reality is in our own way. Yes. We realize that we associate, we become associated yes. with because of what they're doing to us. We become associated with thinking that our job is who we are because that's right. what they want you to believe that you're a slave and that's all you do is that. And that's all you get is yep. that. And every one of you out there needs to understand this is what Norma's getting at. You yes. need to have the realization that I am not that. That is what I do for them here in this place because it's necessary for me to do those things. It doesn't mean that I'm to losing help. me and we need to make sure we don't oh. and become aware of when I'm not doing those things for those people. What am I? Who am I? And what is it that I need for me? That's where you right. have that time where you reflect on yourself. And that's yep. what she's talking about, where you know and experience now me, this yes. my goal. Not just what I do there. I'm not associated with that other than I have to have a roof. I have to have right. food. They have set up a system where we have to have money for that. So I have to try and procure that some way. So don't bitch at me because everything should be fucking free. And you come exactly. to me for a psychic greeting and get pissed off because I want to charge you money for it. Right. Right? Because, because no matter what I'm, I'm selling you, a service. I'm doing this yes. for you to help you and using my energy. You can go ahead <laughs> and have the opinion that that was what someone else sold you in their book. Yeah. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm giving you my opinion, my energy, right. my time, so, my right, opinion. Question. How, no matter how, how your, closely you associated with someone else is. Important. How is your energy more important than somebody else's energy? To exactly. Win? Why would you it? pay $12 for them and not $12 for me? Right. Uh, well, why am I only two dollars and they're twelve? Because you think I sound like them. Well, because uh, <laughs> four hundred and fifty people have bought that other one and improved their lives, and there's a proven track record. Okay. To say, oh, but why does that only make me worth two? Right. That's, you need to prove a track record. See, that's getting well, to yeah. the, back to what Aaron was saying. You. That's why I was coming across with the work that you have. You want, you want the green, but you're still at the orange, reaching for the yellow. Yeah. yeah, you have to exact. There you is that work you have to do to get to that space. You have to help space. people extend, yes. and when you help and extend, and people recognize that and they see the effect that you've had over time, and that what the majority of the things that you've said probabilistically are decent, true, and right. real, and mm -hmm. they have found help in what you are doing, they right. will recommend right. to others, and then the green level will come in. The green level is a recognition. That's where people start paying you because, oh, you know what? Uh, Norma told him and him and her and the other thing, and, and I want to see if she can do the same thing for right. me. That's where it gets to, and that's see, where and you I, And I agree true. with that. And you that, can't well, expect that, it from the beginning. And right. that comes, the, the only reason, the only way that, like what Miguel was saying, that people will then believe in what you're saying is when you stop caring 
or worrying about right. what other people think. So when you say yeah. things, you're doing it from the heart and people see that. Like Miguel said, someone says, well, then your, your record starts, you know, your reputation starts preceding you. Oh, well, you know what? Norma did this for that person and they recommended her. And then I kind of like what she's doing. I'm watching her doing right. this stuff. And, yeah. and that's your, how your reputation does yeah. prestige you. And, do, and no, yeah. look. Because everybody like else's saying, first impressions yeah. will happen to you. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I've been saying is, dude, my income is minimal. Like, Right. So I'm unemployed at this moment. But so I appreciate I'm a those that actually do come to me. Those that feel me. We, we are a rocking bunch. Me. Me. We're those a that are involved we're, we're with a pirate, me. We're a pirate ship, buddy. Yeah, right? Six, and and you know what, though? I don't have, I mean, there are some days I do struggle with that because I'm in this realm where I need to make money. I have to. And so there are those days where I'm like, oh, my God, I'm just not doing my part. And yet I'm working my ass off like every right. day. Really, I do. I don't care how many what you think might be little TikToks, um, but I got to remember what that energy was, and I got to remember what they just said, and I got to fucking suit it just right, and I got to fucking fit it into my life of mess. Yeah, and I got six out. You might be going, oh my god, that's excessive and whatever. You know what though? I'm going, oh no, bitch. In my life, I got six TikToks out. <laughs> you just got six of me within this. Okay. Right. And that's why I say every person is going to gain their interest. They're going to gain their information. They're going to gain their everything differently, which is what is so beautiful about the podcast we've, tr we've started. Right. Cause even Aaron and I sometimes butt heads. He's like, no, but I see. And he does see, and he is, and I'm, I am not taking away ever from anything this man says. I will say, though, that I, too, am human, and I know when I can get lost in thought, okay? And I'm going to say, whether it's you that's lost or me that's lost or we just got to find the balance in this thought, mm, it's not working, right? And nine times out of ten, we can, we can kind of go, wait, but I seen and I go, yeah, but I feel and I sense and this is the way it's actually, you know what I mean? Like, and his water and my fire and air, thank goodness, can kind of create an outlook is what I like to call it. It's not a belief. It's not necessarily a system. It's getting you into you. It is an outlook. It is getting you to take you from the space in which you're in and bringing you up no matter how that is. If that is your psychic abilities, if that's simply the way you're viewing the world, if that is um, just feeling secure in yourself. Ultimately, we are coaches. We are here to guide you. But if you don't want that guidance, baby, you don't need it, okay? You don't have to come here. There's so many outlets for you before you find our avenue. And hey, maybe when you find ours, you've, you've drifted past it. That's okay. It's the funny thing about the sea, right? <laughs> Just to bring in pirates. <laughs> right. but, you know, it's, it's, it's about really giving everything a chance knowing and understanding that nothing is coming within your periphery. I did a whole like TikTok about being like offended. What happens when you're offended? Well, you've been triggered. Right. Nothing else happens. Right. So you've been given an opportunity now to look within yourself and figure out why did that bother me so bad? Was it the way it came across? Was it what they said? Do I not believe this? Our lives, I, and I hate to say this, are really, truly our lives. You got to focus on you, y'all. Not in that selfish, like, no, pay attention to anything or anyone else way. But, like, truly understand that when you feel or are experiencing certain things, take the time to understand why are you feeling it that way. And most especially when you can see around you that not everyone is taking it like that. Right? right. When right. you can look around yourself and go, wow, I feel like this, but this is okay. So, okay. So maybe I'm being a little extreme. Why do I feel like this? Not many of us take that time to take that step back and go, 
huh. Even if we reacted badly, whatever. Take right? that moment to go, whoa. I was well, just see, and that's, I think it's the Why secret. I like that? Right. I think that's the secret that people need to understand is to, to add more light to what Norma's saying is that we really, most of the time, don't. We get triggered and we don't actually look at that and go, why did I do that? So we end up going past that, just staying triggered, right? And then yell past the other person or whatever, or just get mad. You're driving and somebody cuts you off and it, or they trigger you. Whatever it is, you get triggered. And instead, well, Norma's saying, you've got to have the wherewithal to understand, wait a minute, I just got triggered. Why? And, and, and if you practice this, this is the reason why I broke in here. Because if yeah. you practice this, and Norma will tell you this, and so will Aaron, who's sitting right there. If you practice this, this is where your communication comes into play. And then you're, you're also, you're healing for one. You know, have a, you'll have a better relationship with whatever your partner, because now you're more willing to go, wait a minute, what just happened? Why did that happen? Is it something that is in me? Did I have a preconception that right. when you say that it's going to trigger me? Or, or did I get triggered because of how you said it or whatever? But you're analyzing right. it now. I'm sorry. You got triggered because you're a fucking bitch and can't handle it. Usually. Right. Do not act. When you stop and fucking think about your shit, you might actually get something fucking right. But when you're right. reacting to goddamn emotions, you're going to do shit wrong. So right. fucking do it. Right. Yeah. right. And trust Agreed. me. I am a fire air, so my emotions too, have taken me to bad places way too <laughs> fucking often. <laughs> Taking that moment to go, whoa, that pissed me off. Right? Why? Yeah, it yeah. Off and guess what? It's your fucking problem. Don't go off yep. on it. Right? That's right. All right, y'all. I'm going to sign out for tonight. Me and Norma, sign out for tonight. Love you guys. Thank you for this Love you pirate guys. cast. Right, y'all like and follow, subscribe. We're not on YouTube right now because we're all in trouble. We're on YouTube anyway, jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're so, all in YouTube jail. It is. I'll what see it you is. next week. We'll be here at five <laughs> o'clock Wednesday or whenever your time's time is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, yeah. four, 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 four o'clock yeah. for your time. Nine yeah, what about what about the gals? What what is it your time right now? Well, right now it's eleven forty. So we start at nine o'clock. Holy shit. Time. Yeah, so yeah, he's a lot later than we are. I'm he's yeah, hour. way later. Four hours. I'm, yeah, two hours, I'm two hours, hours ahead of Eastern time. Yeah, I still yeah. Three all because I'm the baby I'm man. It's only six forty one for me. I still been killing time. <laughs> I, I love this shit. I love talking to y'all, and I love being. Yeah, this is awesome, man. man. I swear and so I, I apologize. If I come this is uh, what is what is this? Uh, this number two or number three? This number three. Number three. Yeah, number three. Actually, number four, but. We weren't yeah, because we did a leader. soft opening, so it's actually number yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. did one, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's actually number four. So truthfully, this well, is love episode. You guys. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you very much. Thank we'll you, you Shaman. Thank you, Norma. Always. A we gotta start. We gotta start numbering the episodes so people know. Oh, I'm numbering them. Don't worry, I'm numbering them. Are you this okay? Is four. I yeah, thought you four. already were. Yeah. We're on. We're on four. four, but we're on three. Right. <laughs> we are where we are. We did a soft opening. Talk about it. Yeah. And then three cents. Yeah. There's, that's it. There Much go. love to you guys. Thank you all for watching. And uh, please like and subscribe. Follow. See you next time. Follow all of our posts so you can see every one of them. But if you if you just want to know, we're going to be back on at five o'clock. Because fuck you, bitch. Seven o'clock Eastern time next Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Every Wednesday. Every Every Wednesday, maybe, maybe more maybe than that. We're, we might just get really we'll belligerent. Hey, we, like we, we on we like five hey, days look, a week. I'm, I don't I'm know. Not, that's I'm lofty gonna, goal. But hey, if we get the I'm music thing going, going then, that might happen. Yeah. The music. We need the music musicians yeah. out there. Yeah. If you've got right. recorded music you want to be heard, please send it in to Skull Island PC at gmail dot com, and we'll put it on the air for you guys. Yes. And we'll have it out. We want to. If we do this right, we can have this thing be in a 24 hour thing when you have that. That's right, bro. Time. That's what I'm talking about. All my 47 fans. Right? Yes. Share the love. <laughs> and until next time, y'all, you go share some knowledge that you know. Don't be afraid to right? say it. Don't be afraid right? to tell somebody and wake them up. Even if you say it once, they get pissed. At least you said it once. Just plant that seed. Much Always. love to all of you guys. Peace. See you soon. Oh, you can't Thank see you, Simon. Thank you, Norma. Appreciate it.
Appreciate it. Peace. Neil's love, getting Neil. a phone call. I love you, Miguel. No worries, Aaron. You, Thank you. Hey, I love the logo and I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, my, my brother was calling just then. Sorry about that. No worries. Uh, it is what it is. Skull Island, excellent idea. I appreciate it, Leo. Yeah, um, agreed. Yeah, we are all on a certain resonance and we're all trying to elevate and find a better path through this all. Um, the thing that we need to be able to focus on is community, bringing everybody together. Uh, if you need things, don't get them from the big box stores. Get them from people that are around you. Yeah, okay. they were talking about that earlier in the chat. Support your local businesses. Support exactly. your your uh, um, you know your middle class, uh, whatever it is. Uh, you know, instead of the big box, like uh, like uh, Miguel's literally saying now. Uh, you know, don't go to the big box places if you can, man. Go to the locals because. That's what they were trying to kill with this with this pandemic, with this scaredemic. They were trying to kill that off around the world. So they're struggling now. Help them. Uh, forget about the big corporations. They're making billions and trillions of dollars. On, even, if, even if your neighbor is making a macrame uh, pot cover, whatever yep. the fuck, give her 15 bucks. It'll make her life a lot better. Look at yep. what your neighbors are doing. Look at the people around you. Make sure that that. that the people around you are okay. For example, my neighbor went and he opened up a bar. I'm next week. We're going to visit the beach where he opened up the bar so that we can sit every day and drink at his bar. Uh, I'll be able to drink with my neighbor more than what I did when he was my neighbor. So, you know, um, right. always support those that are around you because they yep. will eventually support you. It is the community that made this beast system start in the first place. They just took it over. We need to yep. rebuild the communities. That's what we're doing here on the Pirate Broadcast on three different time zones on two different continents. Right? <laughs> right? Absolutely. True. And then, and then we're going out to the world, and you guys are all over the world. I see in the chat where people telling us where they are, you know, all over the planet. And that's why I was saying we have a better reach truly uh, now, even though we don't have a, a lot of uh, followers yet, we have a better reach than or opportunity than like say even a Jesus did back in the day. It took him two thousand years to reach the planet. We can reach the planet in one day. We just need the popularity. Well, if if we get that, uh, what what do they call that? Uh, whenever some, viral, we need that viral video that everybody spreads out and, and yeah, you need that one that goes viral. Yeah, yeah, agreed. So you know, even if it doesn't, it's because you know, the people that are here are the ones that are supposed to be here. You guys find us. Uh, you know, if you think that the stuff that we had, our content is going to change every week, we're going to talk about all kinds of stuff, uh, whatever we feel at the time. I didn't even get we to talk about what I was going to bring here to talk about today. Right. No, so we have a topic thing. that I wanted to talk about and we never got to it. I didn't even. So next time well, we'll we're, be able still to on. we're still on. So what's the topic that you want to talk about? Let's do it. Leo. Well, we're kind of on the fringe of everything that we were talking here about with yeah. with, uh, you know, people uh, and their perception of what's going on around them. Basically normal when she went on that long tirade, that's why I let her run because she was running right down the road yep. that I wanted to go down. And from her perspective, that's why I was like, yeah, baby. And I saw you the say, we're both let sitting here letting her run because we knew that that was kind of where we were going with that. So, you know, the truth is that in life, it's hard for us to get out of our own way. And that's why Miguel and I were planning that podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's reality in your way. The, web, right? the webinar. The webinar. The so webinar. Not the yeah, webinar. not just the podcast, a webinar. We were planning that because the, we still need to talk about that. So uh, so I think we still need to do that and get that together with, with Aaron and everybody and not do it at Skull Island, but do it as a webinar. Maybe we could do it as Skull Island doing the webinar. No, right? it's, 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 that a lot bigger, it's a lot bigger than just Skull Island. Uh, no, it is. Is, 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 I Great. mean, uh, the idea of is your reality holding you back is uh, and in reality, I want to change that title is your perception of your reality holding you back. Yeah, because that is exactly what it is. It's your perception of your reality. Right. Your perception is in the way of your exactly. reality, your perception, your, your of, subconscious yeah. prog programming from your childhood, yeah. your conscious programming from your adulthood has created a perception of reality that distorts what you see into a way that your mind accepts it more easily and it's not right. necessarily what is and so Correct. when people are able to get out of themselves as you said uh, they're able to see things from a larger perspective from different angles and they can go oh wait but yeah oh yeah oh oh okay 
Oh, wait, well, I see, can, that's scary I too. Go this way instead of going that way because that that way is a lot easier. Okay, I can see the perspectives and I can see the map and I can draw out my path with less resistance. Well, see that that's a and the problem with that is that it's a it's scary. This is what we talked about before. It's scary to because you then realize this one major point that has been told over and over in literature and movies and everything you have to unlearn everything you have learned and that scares people they don't want to be without a net okay mm -hmm. and so it, so it's hard for people to take that leap because they're like well i don't know where it's going to lead you don't first thing it's going to do is lead you inside to you and down that rabbit hole and that's necessary and that was miguel's message early on in this broadcast you it's need to find your own peace. You have you to be right. with yourself. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Without right? that inner peace, you cannot be a growth factor in life because you will constantly yeah, exactly. be trying to feed your own peace. And that's yeah. what feeds the addictions and the, and the problematic uh, personality traits that, that people develop and the manipulation, the control and the purchasing and, and impressing and, and being over and dominating. All of that is because you're not at peace. Correct. Well, and like Denise says here, it's great to hear different uh, perspectives <laughs> because the, the, well, and look, the, the Pena perspective, <laughs> right? It's, it, here's the thing. What is it that makes us grow? What makes us grow is diversity, right? So Miguel has an opinion. Yes. I have an opinion. We get together. I voice my opinion. He voices his opinion. And then we both learn from something from that. And that changes our perspective. And what are we doing? He and I are bringing what we know to the table and trying to figure out life. And by talking about it, I learned something from him because it's his perspective, which is different than mine. He learned something from me because my perspective is different than his. And, and we all we learn from the chat because we have uh, 20 different perspectives showing up there in the comments as well. And it's always Absolutely. a good thing. All of us right? resonating together and building each other up. That's what it's all about. And, the, about and that's how, yeah. Right. And that's how and that's how we come to the middle ground, Allison says. And, and that's where we, we all will then go take that forward. And that's the like Aaron said before, when that's the ripple in the pond or the ripple in the ocean. When you toss the rock in there, where does it go? It goes out and it continues to make contact with all other waves until there's one equal to it. And well, opposite. And it's not, then they cancel each other out. The problem the problem with that is that we live in a universe where it's not just one pebble with ripples that's the easy way to be able to see it we are living in a pond with thousands of pebbles being tossed in and all those ripples interacting with each other and just right. creating this wave of sploosh and everything else yep. because there's no sequence and there is just pure fucking no chaos. order of chaos yeah so unless we can actually order our ripples to where they won't interfere with the other ripples around us when we found, like we have here on Skull Island, where our ripples can actually build on other ripples, those yeah. are the ponds that we can toss our stones into. Right. And the ripples match up. Because when we're tossing in other ponds, we're just combating with others. Everybody's going to nullify each other out. It's going to be a big chaos storm, you know, waves crashing and, and taking other shit out and nothing's going to get built. You know, right. But when you've got those waves in sync, it's a whole nother reality. And that's what we're trying to do here. I think yeah. I might be wrong. No, I agree. And the, and the scariest part is when you find when you realize that now you find yourself adrift out on that ocean and, and everything's rocky and you're like, oh, no. And that's the fear that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, but see, the, oh, only reason, but the only reason that you have the uh, oh, no, is because you don't know where you're rowing to. If you have your purpose, if you have your goal, regardless of the waves, regardless of the current, you are rowing in the direction of where you need to go. And that's the sand on the beach when you have a spoon and you're trying to take, get the sand off the beach. Every time you take a spoonful out and you throw it over your shoulder, the wave comes in and washes the sand and now you got to take another one, right? And, if, and it, if you look at it on face value, you're thinking this beach is forever. I'm never going to be able to shovel enough of this beach uh, to make a difference with this little spoon. But the truth is, be the spoon. Remember that from the Matrix? So the truth yeah. is, you have to stay your course, which is what Miguel is saying. Yeah, stay your you, course you, also have to plan, you also have to plan your course for adverse effects. Yeah. For example, I built lots of castles on the beach, and the water washes them away. And what I always right. do is I take that little spoon and I create a ditch to where the water will stop there before yeah, it reaches my castle. Yeah. 
exactly. So it yeah. protects see, my castle. That plays into what Miguel was just saying, where when you take yourself outside of the situation, then you can look at it from different perspectives and find the right path. That's what you have to do. When you find yourself, you're in that place now, I'm out in the middle of that ocean, and I'm all alone. Wait a minute, let's pull back a second and look around. You're going to find that you're not, and you're going to find the path of least resistance, is what Miguel was alluding to just a moment ago. Exactly right? that. Yeah. Um, the, it's not necessarily the path of least resistance, but it's the path that is your journey and your destination. Um, so, yeah, we we have certain things and destinies that we need to reach. And when we focus on those, it doesn't matter the size of the wave. Now, you're not going to row straight ahead if there's a huge ass wave coming this way. You see the wave. You're going to row into the wave. Turn into let it. the wave pass so that it doesn't flip you over. And yep. then you get back on your path on and you row towards your destiny. Then you row yep. up the next wave and then back on your path. As long and that as goes back to what Norma was saying, where sometimes you have to ebb and flow. Sometimes you have to do things that kind of take you out of your way for a while before you can get back in only because the forces are stronger and that's the way you have to ebb and flow. And that was what Norma was getting to when she was on that path, on that track. Absolutely. Um, yep. and, and it's, it's our reactions to those things. Sometimes uh, people see the big ass wave and they try to swim away from it and it picks them up and it flips them over and it crushes them in the middle of the fucking wave. Yep. You have yep. to be able to recognize the wave and, being a, I'm not a surfer, but I, I love the beach and I've, I've played with the ocean, with the waves for a while. Um, so, and, and I used to watch uh, surf videos all the damn time. Um, so you have to see the wave and go into it. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't flip you over. You, you need to deal with the thing that is coming up. You need yep. to be able to acknowledge recognize it. it. Yeah. Acknowledge it. And then, uh, react to it so that it doesn't flip you over so you can ride past it. There's no danger, less danger. And then when you're down on the other side, you can then turn and go back on course, whatever you're going to do. Yes. Exactly. Focusing on dealing with the initial problem, the big ass wave, but still not losing focus on your long-term focus, which is your personal destiny. Yep. Agreed. hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. And Norman was talking about that too. All of us. That was the message even Absolutely. Aaron was saying. This we, is probably we the, theme. We the, the theme of this entire show today was, was what Miguel just summed it up right there in that paragraph, right? That's yeah. really pretty much what we've said over and over in different ways for three hours now. Two Lots hours of now. different perspectives that allow us to see things um, more clearly yep. and more openly, depending on what we are more willing to receive. Right. And you have to realize, come to the realization and lose the fear that you're in a place which is the I, I do. That means action. That means change. So that means you can't get yourself into a comfortable zone where there's no change in your life because life itself is going to force miserable. you to change. If there is no change and your life is boring, you will be miserable, uh, yep. which is what I was, which is why I focused on my book. Why? Because I've got everything that I ever wanted. I yeah. have the, the life that I that I dreamt that I built of and everything else, but it's like, okay, now what? And I'm nowhere near retirement. And the thing was, I want to help others get to where I am. How did I get? Yeah. No, I'm not gonna I'm gonna give them the idea of how you get there, the mentality for you to reach the objectives that you have. And so uh, from this point forward, basically I'm working for everybody else. I've got everything I want. I don't need anything else except food or maybe electricity or whatever. That's basic fucking shit. Um, but what I want is to be able to help others grow and be more of themselves and be able to reach the, the objectives that they think are impossible, but they're not. It's just being able to focus on what it is that you really truly need and want and focusing on that and, and driving towards that and working towards that. And that becomes your focus and you get it done. And people eventually reach that point if they focus on it. The problem with the majority of yep. people is that they don't have a destiny. They don't have a focus. They don't have a, oh, that's what I'm going to be. They're like, well, I don't know. I'm going to do whatever tomorrow tells me I'm going to do. Well, you're going to be riding along with the waves and you're going to fall off the edge of the waterfall. Why? Yeah, because that's exactly. where going with the river. Because that's where it's going. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to call it anyway. We're at three hours. I got to feed my mom gotta, and you're getting later at night. <laughs> exactly. It, right? It's, it's, it's three hours and that's well within uh, your, your definite limits. Leo, I appreciate right? it. I thank you right? very much. 
Uh, thank I you. I think everybody that was here, please share this out, guys. Uh, Miguel, I love you for for doing this. I love your personality. Um, I'm glad that that you agreed to do this with us and and uh, and come along to have some fun doing this Skull Island because I think that I think we can rock this, bro. With the with the four Absolutely. of us that we got going, I think it's going to be Absolutely. good. And I, and I like that whole. Right. I was concerned when it was just going to be the three guys. I wasn't sure. And then when Norma, I'm like, we had that feminine and that perspective kind of rounds out. Right. And, and maybe it keeps us honest. I don't know. If, but maybe it just gives us that. Yeah, that, 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 wouldn't be, right? that wouldn't be the same as the pirate cast, because in pirate islands, what were women used for? Um, there was because the, the pirates are our base level. And so unless you're able to swallow the deck or carry the the. Uh, booty the bounty up onto the ship or raise the sails or everything else well right. then your only function is something else which isn't as critical um but that visualization that viewpoint and that perspective is true so in, in those cases uh we might change the the idea because we're not pirates um we're building right. a community um, so building community or something else might be a, a new focus that we can focus on, but, um, well, see, that's kind of what, what Aaron envisioned with the whole, but he's using the word piracy, uh, because, uh, you know, he's that's a rebel. Kind of he happened. wants to be a rebel. He doesn't want to yeah. be tied to the system. And absolutely. That's what we are. Yeah. We are outside the system. Uh, so in yeah. those cases, yes, it is pirate radio. It is rebel radio. It is something that is not tied or acquiesces to the system. Absolutely. And with that, or any political party uh, or anything like that. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And, and with that, yeah. I am completely in accordance because the system can go fuck itself. <laughs> I think that's why all of our personalities work, because we are in that respect, anarchists in that respect that we don't believe in government. We don't believe in religion, even though we're very spiritual, you and I especially, but all of us, really, because both Norma and Aaron are both also ministers, just like yes. I am. And, and you're getting your uh, uh, license if you haven't already. I know you're working on you're getting your papers. Uh, I'm as a well. procrastinator, so eventually I'll get it done, maybe. <laughs> right. so, but we're spiritual beings. We're not trying to sell a religion of any kind. We're selling thought. We're, trying to we're not even selling it to you. We're giving it to you. Thought. Use it. You guys are. I'm, I'm, thought, um, um, I, am, I am selling a religion. Uh, Jesus Christ will save you. No one else is paying right. you. But that's, <laughs> that's me. Um, everybody else has their things. And the only thing that I talk about, we cannot control others. We can only influence others. Uh, right. And so those are my thoughts and everyone else has their thoughts and whoever resonates with that. Will. And we all have our own opinions. Even the aliens, when they get here from another planet, they have their own ideology and their own uh uh, oh, yeah. uh, but according to the Pope, you know, they'll teach us more morals because they're more advanced than we are. Right. Well, I don't agree with that. But however, there might be other advanced civilizations that are more spiritual than we are that we might be able to learn from. Agreed. But I don't think all aliens are going to be that. I think it's literally going to be just like here, because what I'm getting from every person I've ever spoken to and every alien I've ever contacted, it's no different anywhere else you go, whatever planet you go to. If it's third dimensional, third density. Mm -hmm. It's just I've, like this. I've, I've been on five continents in 43 countries. And the one thing that I've found out is that everybody's life is the fucking same. Yeah. You got to pay your bills. You got to pay your electricity. You got to put food on the table and you got to make sure that everybody has warm clothes in the winter. Right. Everybody's life. And while doing bad. all of that mundane stuff, because this place is the place of I do, we all also then have to look into ourselves and, and, and be responsible for ourselves. And Elevate and be more. Exactly. And elevate, be more. Be the change. That's exactly. Right. All right. Be so we'll leave it there. Uh, let's hashtag that. Hashtag be the change, guys. Right? Perfect. <laughs> That's a the perfect. Dalai will thank you because uh, that was his phrase. Be the change you want to see in the world. Yeah. In fact, that that uh, be the change was yeah was Mahatma Gandhi, right? That he invented that. He was the first one to say it. I don't know if it was Mahatma, but I know the Dalai Lama, the current Dalai Lama, has said it. So okay, so maybe he got that from the Dalai, right? And and said it, but he did say it. He was famous for that, for saying, "Be the change." But no, who knows where that came from, right? That's the chicken and the egg. How far back does that go? Maybe we'll have to look into that. Do a show about it. We should. <laughs> there, there could probably be something about five thousand years ago that said, "Yeah, be the change." Maybe Plato right? said it. We'll we'll look it up for next week. We'll look it up, and next week we'll we'll talk about it with you guys next week. We'll do that, Miguel. We'll look it up. We'll we'll Sounds come back good. and convene. Oh, uh, okay, this is what I found. 
By the way, Leo, uh, I would prefer if you just call me Mike or Michael. Either way, that would be. Great. I said I didn't ask. I, I didn't ask you, but I but I wanted to, but you I didn't know, ask. Said, I didn't. That's, that's, that's my name on the Facebook. I figured eventually he's going to say, "Hey, Leo, just or hey, yeah, hey, Leo, just call me this." <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't want to assume anything, one. and I didn't want to offend. So, but when no, I first I, met you, your name I, was I, Miguel, I, so I called you that. I get that. I got no problems whatsoever. Um, that was the, the name that I, my original name, uh, and it's in Spanish and that's what irritates me. Cause yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's that. still Michael. It's, um, you know, but see, I set if up you're Irish. Movie. I would call you Mick. <laughs> yeah, 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 Mikkel in German. Um, and, and so yeah. my, I originally set up my Facebook page as Michael, but I got banned before anybody was on Facebook. Um, cause I'm just a sick piece of shit, but, um, I set up a second <laughs> like, on Facebook account. Uh, with my real name, Miguel, um, which uh, lends to that. But I do prefer Mike or Michael. So uh, in the okay. future. Good. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. I appreciate you, it. <laughs> Good night and namaste. Namaste. All right, guys. We love you guys. Share this out, share this out, share this out. And we'll see you back out. here next Wednesday for the Skull Island uh, Pirate Cast. I'll Perfect. be on uh, Friday. I'll be on air for uh, Orion Rising. And Thursday tomorrow, I'm pretty sure that Miguel will be on the Miguel uh, or the no, uh, no, uh, Miguel off. I'm on the on, perspective. Yeah, no. My, my things are, are Tuesday and Wednesday right now and Saturday. Tuesday and Wednesday right now. Okay. Okay. Good. So, I got Saturdays okay. with my dad an economic thing uh, this week. I got the graduation of my son, so I probably won't do it. But uh, yeah, that's that's those are the three life things. does that to us, right? <laughs> uh, life life changes. Life changes our, our schedule sometimes. All right, guys. We love you guys. You guys have a great night. Thanks for being here. And uh, we'll see you guys then. Appreciate it.